kinds of things. We need to see Trump first. We got a new Trump dump. Trump always dumping. Let's see what he's got. About the troubling events. Of we'll the talk past about week. electro swing later. We got all night. As I have said, the incursion of the U.S. Capitol struck at the very heart of our republic. It angered and appalled millions of Americans across the political spectrum. I want to be very clear. I unequivocally condemn the violence that we saw last week. Violence and vandalism have absolutely no place in our country and no place in our movement. Making America great again has always been about defending the rule of law, supporting the men and women of law enforcement, and upholding our nation's most sacred traditions and values. Mob violence goes against everything I believe in. The 13th. And everything our movement It's been stands seven for. days. Seven days it took him to finally work up the will. Also, what the fuck is this figurine in the background? It looks like he's got a mech. Is this a mech? Does that not look like a fucking mech? No true supporter of mine could ever endorse political violence. No true supporter I don't know, it looks of like a mech to me. Ever it's a bionicle. Oh, it does look like a bionicle. Whoa, Trump likes bionicles? ...or our great American flag. No true supporter of mine could ever threaten or harass their fellow Americans. If you do any of these things, you are not supporting our movement. You are attacking it, and you are attacking our country. We cannot tolerate it. Tragically, over the course of the past year, made so difficult because of COVID-19, we have seen political violence spiral out of control. We have seen too many yeah, riots, from your too many camp, mobs, you too many idiot. acts of intimidation and destruction. It must stop. Whether you are You'll on have to the rewind, right Windleby. or on the left, or look at this tweet. A Democrat, not this tweet. Or a Hold Republican. On. Gay there can is link never it to you. a justification. No, it's for good. Violence. No, don't worry. No excuses, no exceptions. America is a nation of laws. Those who engaged in the attacks last week will be brought to justice. Now I am asking everyone who has ever believed in our agenda to be thinking of ways to ease tensions, calm tempers and help to promote peace in our country. There has been reporting that additional demonstrations are being planned in the coming days, both here in Washington and across the country. I have been briefed by the U.S. Secret Service on the potential threats. Every American deserves to have their voice heard in a respectful and peaceful way. That is your First Amendment right. But I cannot emphasize that there must be no violence. This reminds me, this reminds me of his speech at the G, at the, uh, what, the G20 summit? Do you remember that? Was it G20? Earlier this year when he went and he was like falling asleep during the speech? Yeah, he's throwing his followers under the bus. We'll talk about this in a second. No law breaking and no vandalism of any kind. Everyone must follow our laws and obey the instructions of law enforcement. I have directed federal agencies to use all necessary resources to maintain order. In Washington, D.C., we are bringing in thousands of National Guard members to secure the city and ensure that a transition can occur safely and without incident. Like all of you, I was shocked and deeply saddened by the yep. calamity at the Capitol last week. I want to thank the hundreds of millions of incredible American citizens who have responded to this moment with calm, moderation, and grace. Hey, we Cash. will get through this challenge just like we always do. I also want to say a few words about the unprecedented assault on free speech we have seen in recent days. Here we go. These are tense and difficult times. The efforts to censor, cancel, and blacklist our fellow citizens are wrong, and they are dangerous. What is needed now is for us to listen to one another, 
not to silence. Yeah, remember, yeah, exactly, Revere Life. Remember the clip of Trump and his family literally like dancing and drinking to the video of them storming the Capitol? Fucking liar. One another. All of us can choose by our actions to rise above the ranking and find common ground and shared purpose. Oh, we, we got the liar one. On advancing I fixed the, the bot, by the way. Of the whole nation, delivering the miracle vaccines. That was before the rally. Defeating the yeah. pandemic, rebuilding the economy, protecting our national security, and upholding the rule of law. Today, I am calling on all Americans to overcome the passions of the moment and join together as one. Overcome the passions of the moment. Please do not impeach me. Oh, my God, please. Please don't impeach me. Oh, my God. American people, let us choose to move forward united for the good of our families, our communities, and our country. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Well, that was pathetic. That was incredibly pathetic. Notice that this only came out after the impeachment passed the House. This is a desperation move. This is, oh my God, I need plausible deniability. Holy shit. And guess what? We got to talk about impeachment. We're, we got a lot to talk about with impeachment because that was a fucking wild time. We, we're not going to watch all fucking seven hours of the hearing, but we are going to watch some of it because it's really fucking important and it's history in action um oh i mean there was all kinds of that during the impeachment thing this is ridiculous it's ridiculous nobody should ever even like yeah this is probably he's the most pressed of course of course he knows he's fucked and this is this is done so that he can try and get a little bit of plausible deniability back so that maybe some of the Republicans will be on his side. Right now, we need, what is it? I think it's 17 senators. We need 17 Republican defectors. That's it. And he's removed from office. 17. And guess what? Mitch McConnell, as of, as of this morning, was not saying that he was going to oppose the impeachment vote this time. So, pretty serious. That means that the door is open for Donald Trump to be removed from office. The trial is happening with the new Senate. Yeah. How does that change things? Um, I don't know. We can look into that, actually. We can look into that. We'll look into that after we get through the basic news from today. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. You don't need to apologize for that. That's a really good question. I don't know exactly. We'll try to find that out. The trial starts at the 19th at the earliest. Well, keep in mind, who do I think has the spine to defect? Well, some already have. There's already been a few defectors. Um, it's not letting them until he's already in. Oh, I don't know about that. We will see. Regardless, here's the thing. Regardless, it's less important. Remember, it is less important of Donald Trump being removed from office than it is for him to not be able to take office again. These are the act like these are the institutional roadblocks that actually help resist fascism. Not completely. Hey, Lonnie, good to see you. But there are a few institutional roadblocks that actually do prevent fascism. And one of those is not providing him a plausible return to power. He'll also lose his pension. Yes. And he's by the way, Donald Trump is monetarily fucked right now as in banks are now going after him because he's so far in debt that he's pissed off his banks yeah he lost three the support of three banks that are now attempting to collect debts on him this is like he's in a really bad position and no secret service will have to be put in danger new york is dropping contracts good yes paul new york city doesn't do business with insurrectionists we're going to take steps to terminate all agreements with the trump organization to operate the central park carousel woolman and lasker skating rinks and the fairy point golf course it's actually wild it's actually wild that these things still are in business and that trump is still in charge of it it's lit oh my god it's so bad we might need 19 republicans if ossoff and warnock don't get sworn in why won't they be sworn in though why wouldn't they be sworn in Hmm. 
HD High Demon. Yes. Uh. Oh. 9-11. Oh, there we go. Oh, and we got fucking... And we got... Holy shit. And we got JQ references. Jesus Christ. We got JQ references there. Holy shit. Georgia has until 122 to finish their election. That's the deadline for them to certify. Uh, so they might try and um, they might try and slow it down. Didn't you already hey, have impeachment? Peter. Yes, but what about second impeachment? Indeed, what about second impeachment? Spoiler, spoiler, everyone! Donald Trump got impeached again. Yeah, I feel you, Dan. I feel you, Dan. I feel you. Only uh, 10. 24. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, of the impeachment. this is the state of our country. 10 Republicans voted in favor of it. The Republicans have no fucking spine. 10! Only 10! 197 Republicans voted in favor of keeping the fascist in office. The guy who literally asked for people to find him 11,000 votes. You fought, caught this gem? Alright, I'll take a look at that uh, as we go. No point in watching this season anymore? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, no, no, stick around. Please, keep watching this season. Listen, please keep watching this season. I would love it if you would all keep watching this season. It would make me sad if... <laughs> God damn it. An article for incitement of an insurrection. Here is the debate from this afternoon. House Resolution 24. Resolved that Donald John Trump, President of the United States, is impeached for high crimes and misdemeanors, and that the following article of impeachment Ooh, be I'm gonna have to the soon. United States Senate. Yay! Article of impeachment exhibited by the House of Representatives of the United States of America in the name of itself and of the Donald people Don of the President. United States of America against Donald John Trump, President of the United States of America, in maintenance and support of its impeachment against him for high crimes and misdemeanors. So the Sodi arc begins soon. Article 1, incitement of insurrection. The Constitution provides that the House of Representatives... Yeah, guess what, everyone? That's right. I promise we'll have Yodi. We'll have a Yodi, we'll have a Yodi stream segment if we make it through... If we make it through all this shit. And we will. We'll make it through this shit. But we'll get a Yodi segment at the end. Representatives shall have the sole power of impeachment and that the president shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other crimes and misdemeanors. We're Further, gonna put it on 1.5 the amendment to the Constitution while this shit is happening. Engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the United States from holding any office under the United States in his conduct while president of the United States and in violation of his constitutional oath faithfully to execute the office of the president of the United States and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of the United States. Boring. And in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, Donald John Trump engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors by inciting violence against the government of the United States and that on January 6, 2021, pursuant to the 12th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, the Vice President of the United States, the House of Representatives and the Senate met at the United States Capitol for a joint session of Congress. This is, uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, this is unpog, very unpog, uh, or pog. I don't know if this is pog or unpog. Uh, this is, um, this is resident sleeper right now. In the months preceding the joint session, President Trump. It makes me very people sad that the presidential election results makes me very people sad when they do boring talk. The American people or certified hey, good night. Or federal good night, officials. Dan Starlight. Go get Shortly some rest. All right. Session commenced. President Trump addressed a crowd at the ellipse in Washington, D.C. There he reiterated false claims that we won this election and we won it by a landslide. I have no idea. He also willfully made statements that in context encouraged resident sleeper people sad. Yep. Capitol, such as if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Thus incited by President Trump, members of the crowd he had addressed in an attempt to, All right, let's give this, let's slow this one down. with the joint session's solemn constitutional duty to certify the results of the 2020 it's presidential election, unlawfully breached and vandalized the Capitol, nah. injured and killed law enforcement no, personnel. No, no, no lemons. No way. That's not how cu culture works. Gutex is an idiot, but Pog, nobody even knows who he is. PogChamp is just a face. PogChamp is an expression, and it has been built by a community of millions of viewers on Twitch using it over, like, a, like half a decade? Nah. You don't, like, Gutex doesn't have control over po PogChamp. Pog is great, and Pog will live on. 
menaced members of Congress, the Vice President, and congressional personnel and engaged in other violent, deadly, Pogus for the people, Lemon. Acts. You got it right there. That's the President right one. President Trump's conduct on January Oh, that's 6, fine, anti -violence. I don't mind them either. Followed his prior efforts to subvert and obstruct the certification Let's of hear the what results they have to say. of the 2020 presidential oh. election. Those prior efforts included a phone call on January 2nd, 2021, during which President Trump urged the Secretary of State of Georgia Brad Raffensperger to find enough votes to overturn the Georgia presidential election results and threaten Secretary yeah, it did, Catherine. It's really cool. if he failed to do so. And yep, all of this, they included President the phone Trump call. Good fucking call. That phone call was w on its own impeachment worthy. Obviously. Gravely endangered the security of the United States and its institutions of government. He threatened the integrity of the democratic system interfered with the peaceful transition of power and imperiled a co-equal branch of government. He thereby betrayed his trust as president to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Donald John Trump, by such conduct, has demonstrated that he will remain a threat to the national security, democracy, and the Constitution if allowed to remain in office, and has acted in a manner grossly incompatible with self-governance and the rule mm. of law. Donald John Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal I agree. from office, yep. and True. disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. Jesus. That impeachment. The resolution shall be debatable. Yeah, for by two the hours. way, just so you know, impeachment really hurts you. You know that, like, you can't take, there are all kinds of positions that you are barred from if you, uh, if you are impeached. Hours. Equally divided and controlled by like the chair and the ranking minority member of the uh, Committee they have on to when the they'll Judiciary. Be. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Nadler, and the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, will each control one hour. Oh, the sorry, sorry. If you're convicted, not just impeached. But obviously being impeached um, is not really good. Blue Senate starts January 20th, too. Yes, I believe so. Uh, yeah, Jim Jordan. You're going to have to hear a lot of Jim Jordan. By the way... Donald Trump gave Jim Jordan the the fucking Medal of Freedom. The Medal of Freedom to Jim Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Trash. And and just in case, listen, we all know that we all know that the pre the the Presidential Medal of Freedom is like uh, you know, it's a lot of back clapping, but this is blatant. He, Donald Trump is literally just giving it to people who help him. So bad. Here recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. Nadler. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and insert extraneous material on HRES 224. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield one minute to the distinguished Speaker of the House, the gentlelady from California, Ms. Pelosi. The gentlewoman from California is yielded one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding and for his leadership. Madam Speaker, in his annual address to our predecessors in Congress in 1862, President Abraham Lincoln spoke of the duty of the patriot in an hour of decisive crisis for the American people. Fellow citizens, he said, we cannot escape history. We will be remembered in spite of ourselves. Gentle person. No personal significance Gentle them. That's a good or one. insignificance can spare a, one or another of us. The fiery trial through which we pass will light us down in honor or dishonor to the latest, latest generation. We, even we here, he said, hold the power and bear the responsibility. Gentle folk, that's a good one. In the Bible, St. Paul wrote, think on these things. God, I hate we Pelosi's rhetorical style. On what Lincoln told us. We, even here, even us here, hold the power and bear the responsibility. We, you and I, hold and trust the power that derives most directly from the people of the United States. And we bear the responsibility to fill that oath. Yeah, it is. That we That's all what it is, Somniostatic. And before one another. 
the oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I'll so s I, will, I will clap you, Penn We know that we face enemies of the Constitution. Not really. We know we experienced the insurrection that violated the sanctity of the people's capital and attempted to overturn the duly recorded will of the American people. And we know that the President of the United States incited this insurrection, this armed rebellion against our common country. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. I think I'm gonna put the mask back on. Since the <sighs> presidential election in November, an election the president lost. But I can't hear what's he going on now. Held God about damn it. The, uh, lied about the outcome, showed self-serving doubt hmm. about democracy and unconstitutionally sought to- I can't hear what's going on when I have the mask on is the only downside. To repeal reality. Everybody, I got my COVID mask. And then came that day of fire we all experienced. The president must be impeached and I believe Ow. the president must be convicted by the Senate, a constitutional remedy that will ensure that the Republic will be safe from this man who was so resolutely determined to tear down the things that we hold dear and that hold us together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It gives me no pleasure okay. to say this. It breaks my heart. Damn, it break your damn heart. Pelosi's base. Based so Pelosi, am I right? Wow, we stand a queen. Is testament we stand to a queen. Our country, for America. Yeah, and yeah. Uh huh. Okay, sorry, I'm not even family. listening anymore. Um, to create a more perfect union. Those insurrectionists were not patriots. They were not part of True, the True, Pelosi. Catered to True. They were domestic terrorists and justice must be. Gina, produce. that's not nice. But they did not appear out of a vacuum. They were sent here, sent here by the president with words such as a cry to fight like hell. Words matter. Truth matters. Huh. Accountability matters. In his public exhortations to him, the president saw the insurrectionists not as the face, the foes of freedom as they are, but as a means Very to a serious politics goal. we've got going on the here, everyone. As you can see, uh, they are impeaching the Donald Trump. The will of Donald the Trump is totally the goal fucked. Is ending in a fiery uh, and class nearly two and, and a half centuries. Of our Nancy Pelosi is a based this queen. This is not theoretical. And this is not motivated by partisanship. Why is it all scuffed? What I do you mean it's not scuffed? Is it's not scuffed, is it? Is it scuffed? Is my head scuffed? What? What do you mean? The eyes? The eyes are fine. A daughter. Love you, DM. Library. Hey, thank you so much for the. Hey, Herenia Holt. Thank you so much for the five dollar donation. Loda Socialists work for libraries. Yeah, but that's the way it is in the game. This is real. This is in the real game. Of things. A citizen of the United States of America. With my voice. There, you had your two part. It's actually painful to have on my head. Democrats and Republicans. Yeah. I ask you to search your souls. And answer these questions. Sanity has returned. Is the president's war on democracy? By the way, thank you so much for that uh, $5 donation. Really Worth appreciate that. An ins ins insurrectionary mob, a high crime and misdemeanor. Librarian here to say, support do libraries. Yes, I agree. I love libraries. Our and I do support and them. And our democracy from the appetites and ambitions of a man who has self-evidently demonstrated that he is a vital threat to liberty, to self-government, and to the rule of law. Our country is divided. We all know that. Yeah. There are it's lies got lots of fuzzes in, in land, it. Spread it by is kind of scuffed. President who feels his power slipping away. We must elect we the mods every three too. months? No. But I know this as well. No. That we here in this house I refuse. have a sacred obligation to stand for truth, to stand up for the Constitution, to stand as guardians of the republic. Better be Tim Pool, Jesus Christ. In a speech he was prepared mm. to give in Dallas. I see some demon mama voters in there. You can't impeach me, I'm unimpeachable. President John F. Kennedy was to say, we in this country, Ugh. in this generation, Ugh. are by destiny rather than choice, the watchmen on the walls of world freedom. We ask therefore, that we may be worthy of our power 
and responsibility. Hmm. That we may be worthy. President Kennedy was assassinated before he could. Sodi will be here soon. To the I can't wait. I'm very but thirsty for Sodi. It'll be a great treat for even me. now, in our time, in this place. Let us be worthy of our power and responsibility. That you when can't. Lincoln thought was the world's last best. Tim's hope, crew are funny. That is true. The they're kind of weird, but they're true. May long survive. My fellow members, my fellow. The Americans, answer must be two. We cannot escape history. Let us embrace Godot our fulfill our Godot? oath, and honor the trust of our yep. nation. And we it's gotta be number two. I'm the dictator. We'll continue Sorry, it's just how it is. America. I thank you, Madam Speaker, and yield back. All right, that was the worst. Gentleman from New York. See, the thing about Reserve. Pelosi that sucks is that Nancy Pelosi has to do a lot of talking, and we have to watch a lot of Nancy Pelosi talking, and it's boring as fuck. She's so boring. She's such a bad speaker. And, okay, it's not that she's a bad speaker. She's just an uninteresting speaker. Reserve. The gentleman from Ohio was No charisma. Just, uh, just Madam like— Speaker, I yield myself uh, such time as I may consume. Oh, my God. Here we go. Ma Thank you, Madam Speaker. 19 minutes. 19 minutes. Four years ago on Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2017, 19 minutes into President Trump's administration, at 12.19 p.m., the Washington Post headline was, Campaign to impeach President Trump has begun. And now with just one leak, uh, week left, they're still trying. In seven days, there will be a no, peaceful trans- No, it succeeded. It fucking succeeded. And now we're doing it a second time because he's such a piece of shit, such a piece of shit, that he has to be impeached twice and was impeached twice. For a power just like it's there has been v. every other time it's in our country. It's slash V, uh, Benjamin. But Democrats but let's are keep the polls to a Trump again. Yeah, this doesn't unite exactly. The pedo enabler. There's yep. no way this helps the nation deal with the tragic and terrible events of last week that we all condemn. And Republicans have been consistent. Except for Ted Cruz. We've condemned all the violence all the time. We condemned it last summer. Crying. We condemned it last week. We should be focused on bringing the nation together. Instead, Democrats are going to impeach the president for a second time one week. One week before he leaves office. Why? Why? Politics. It's our only option is number the four. They want to they wanna cancel the president. The president who cut taxes, the president who reduced regulations, the president prior to COVID had the greatest economy, lowest unemployment in 50 years. The president who got us out. All right, dude. Trump rally. Of the Iran deal. Put the embassy in Jerusalem. Brought hostages home from North <laughs> Korea. Put three great it's been decided, Pan Nesbane. You are now agreement. Nancy Pelosi. You have no COVID choice. Vaccine and who built the wall. It's about politics. What? This is about They're the still pushing the that he States. built the wall? He didn't even, he barely even started the wall and it blew over. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Campaign before he was These elected. people are insane. 19 minutes They're just so they fucking unhinged. Three-year Mueller investigation, 19 lawyers, 40 agents, 500 witnesses, 2,500 subpoenas, $40 million to find nothing. True, you are now. Impeachment round one based on an anonymous whistleblower with no firsthand knowledge who was biased against the president and who worked for Joe Biden. And now it's impeachment round two. Yep, and guess what? It succeeded again. No matter what. It's an obsession, an obsession that is now broadened. It's not just about impeachment anymore, it's about canceling, as I've said. Canceling the president and anyone that disagrees with them. The Ayatollah can tweet, the president can't. Democrats can object on January 6, 2017, but Republicans aren't allowed to object on January 6, 2021. Democrats say Antifa is a myth. Republicans condemn all violence all the time. No one has ever said that Antifa is a myth. What the fuck are you talking about? They just say that it's not an organization because it isn't. These people, oh my god, it's like, it's like, you know what it is? The Republican Party is like a fucking army of fucking Rob Norris. The double standard has to stop. And frankly, the attack on the First Amendment has to stop. And stop and think about it. Do you have a functioning First Amendment? When hey, you thank you so much. Perrin, you hope. When you can't True, even have a it is a country, fucking ugly country, lemon candy tie. Thank you so much for the very generous $5. Because if it continues, if it continues, it won't just be Republicans. Yeah, I don't know why there's an echo. Sometimes that canceled. happens. I'm not sure why that happens. The United States. 
The cancel culture will come for us all. It happens sometimes randomly. America's I don't know why country, it does that. The greatest country ever. It seems to me that we, we need to think about how great the people of this nation really are. Think about what we, we've accomplished in the past and, and begin to come <laughs> together as leaders. Benjamin. Who represents so many great folks across our district. <laughs> True gay fish. Think about this. Think about this. In 1903, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, two dumb guys fuck. fly this thing that Jim Jordan a plane is a dumb fuck. Feet. And also Barely a pedo enabler. Barely got off the ground. Amazing thing. 44 years later, Chuck Yeager breaks the sound barrier. In 44 years, we go from two guys flying a contraption they called a plane a few hundred feet to Chuck Yeager breaking the sound barrier. What the fuck? And 22 years after that, 22 years after that, another American steps on the moon. Think about it. What? In one lifetime, in 66 years, two guys flying 100 feet to putting a man on the moon. That's what this country is capable of. That's what we can do. Think and about we it. we as the Congress uh, who represent the people who did that uh, should start leading. Should start understanding what just really do is going it. on Yeah, here. it is. This is just do it. So I hope, I hope we do. This, this uh, congressional house debate brought to you by Red Bull, which gives you wings. Pete, this. I hope we can begin to come together and recognize the greatness of the, of the American people and focus on the things they want us to focus on. I yield back our time. Gentleman re reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield myself three minutes. The gentleman from New York is recognized for three minutes. Madam Speaker, we all saw it coming. Months in advance, President Trump was baselessly and deliberately whipping his supporters into a frenzy. Weeks before the riot, That'd be he great. used his bully pulpit to spread lies about the election. He told his supporters that the results were fraudulent. He implored them again and again oh, to help him stay in power. And someone explain them that rule a little that clearer. accepting the outcome of the election posed an existential threat to their families and their freedoms. We have a duty to observe, Madam Speaker, that racism played a direct role in this incitement. The president's violent rhetoric is always at its most fevered pitch when he is talking about the civil rights and civic aspirations of black Americans and other minority communities. On January 6th, at a rally that was large, angry, and widely reported to be armed, the president's Thank lies you, and violent rhetoric reached their crescendo. At that rally, the You're not in trouble or anything. We just don't like it. We're trying After to discourage reiterating it. reiterating the falsehood that we won this election, and we won it by a landslide, he told the crowd that if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. And then he urged the mob to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue to prevent the Congress from confirming the election of an illegitimate president. On that day, President Trump Speaking unleashed the, truth, the force of a mob on this, the people's house. He encouraged that attack with the explicit intent to disrupt the joint session of Congress, an attack that threatened the safety of the Vice President, the Speaker of the House, and the President pro tem of the Senate, the next three officers in the line of succession. And look at what that violence Damn, has that's Damn, that's a good promise. Let's at see how many people actually voted dead. for it. Officers ransacked. The sanctity of our capital breached for the first time in two centuries. No, it's three. It's the now three. Triple parentheses is the echoes. We don't want to encourage that in chat. It makes people uncomfortable. We, you know, we have a lot of Jewish people here. It makes people uncomfortable. With the Trump campaign. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, I have faith in the resiliency of our government. A little bit of memeing is fine, but we just don't want it to fill the chat all the time. Justice. Their accomplices in this House will be held responsible. But today, we must focus on the gravest threat first, President Trump, who incited this riot and who remains a grave danger to the nation. As we warned the Senate... You're good, Gina. <coughs> ...when we tried him for his first impeachment... Oof. That President cough Trump has made makes clear you sweat every time you hear a cough, doesn't it? ...that he will persist in such conduct if he, if he is not removed from power. He poses a continuing threat to our nation, to the integrity of our elections, and to our democratic order. He must not remain in power one moment longer. Not one moment longer. I agree. The danger is too great. We must impeach. 
I reserve the balance of my time. Yeah, that's Gentlemen true, Levins. It's almost guaranteed time. to be in there. from Ohio is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I would yield. Well, that's true, Somniostatic. Uh, like, again, uh, because of Mitch McConnell, because we don't control the Senate right now, yeah, there's a very good chance that there will be nothing. There will be... There's a very good chance that he just won't be punished. It sucks. But that's the si situation that we're in. Oh, no. Uh, Corvus, listen. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, please do, Max Sips. Um, I'm very happy to do that. I really fucking care about my Jewish audience members. Um, so yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's important to me, just like the comfort of everyone in here. Like, obviously, this is a debate space, but I want to make people comfortable. Like, I mean, it's not a debate space. The chat is meant to be comfy and capable of having political conversations and memes and stuff, but I don't want it to be full of edgy trash. So, much love to all of you. So, I know what it's like to be uncomfortable in a chat. You know? I really do. If you've ever been in a chat, if you've ever been in a chat where, like, it's not, like, trans friendly like fuck let me tell you a quick story this is a little bit of a diversion but i remember once oh max let's take a look at this real quick while i tell this story i do my best demon mama in after all still holding by that that principles i see my space kind of like an in um but i remember a time when i was in my um my guild's voice chat and somebody made a fucking attack helicopter joke and i know they didn't mean it and that everybody else didn't like fucking want to sign up on it but it was it makes me feel uncomfortable it made me feel fucking crazy uncomfortable because i'm just like it wasn't even it wasn't even that it wasn't even like i was making a big deal up about it but it's just like i'm there to raid i'm not there to be reminded that there are people who think that i am an attack helicopter you know so i don't want that shit to poison um chat ever there's going to be some things that happen or things that people don't like or there's going to be debates and stuff but we don't need to do more than we um, yeah, exactly. It's like, is there no place that we can get away from it? You got it right there, Wolfgar. You got it. So our goal is to keep chats cozy, comfortable, and as facilitating as possible. Is it because you may not know how those people truly think of you? Well, no, it's more just like I'm trans. I like my, my transness is already a big part of my life, but not because I chose it to be. And, um, I'm trying to raid. I'm trying to, I was like trying to push to be in the top 10 dps in my guild at that time i want to focus on that not like have this feeling in the back of my mind you know yeah so well we're gonna do our best to keep it that way antifa alex you know it i that's my promise to you i take it very seriously whoa max this is so cool max oh amazing max you're so talented seriously you have a lot of talent max just saying you got hella talent. It's fucking wild. Two minutes to the gentleman from uh, California, Mr. McClendon. The gentleman from California is oh, recognized Oh, Fawn might come in later. Minutes. We'll see. Maybe Fawn would come in. The gentleman from California Three. is Three. recognized Three. for two minutes. We'll go. Four uh -oh. minutes. Excuse me. I didn't realize that. Oops. The gentleman from Ohio and from ah. Florida time on that side of the aisle wishes to yield four minutes to the gentleman ah, from California. I fucked up. Correct. Ah. Yes. The gentleman from California is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, I didn't like the president's... Wait, this mask is as useless as your governor. What the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> For Max? Oh, For Max. I think you have a deal, don't you? Do you want me to set... Wait, is that supposed to be sent to Max? Or do you want me to... Or, or what? Do you want me to set... What? what? <laughs> or is that because you have a deal with Max about taking, taking sips? <laughs> Speech on January 6th. Thank you either. very much. I thought he was wrong to assert that the Sip vice in. president in Congress Sip can up. pick and choose which electoral votes to count. He was wrong to set such a confrontational tone in a politically tense situation. Fuck Tom McClintock. But what did he actually say? His exact words were, quote, I know that everyone Thank here you so much, Somnio. marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Hey, thank you so much, Wolfgar. Thank you so very much for that very generous dono. That's called Baba freedom Bui. of speech. Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Now, he also threatened to oppose candidates in future elections. And by the way, that was directed at Republicans like me who'd resolved to uphold the constitutional process and protect the There's actually a lot of Republicans in California. Well, so what? They're just... That's uh, called uh, politics. Remember, this guy's if a representative. 
So uh, California has a fuckload of districts, and a lot of those are Republican districts. Yeah. He's not a senator. He's a representative. Yeah. Impeached every politician who gave a fiery speech to a crowd of partisans, this Capitol would be deserted. That's what the president did. That is all he did. He specifically no, told the No, somniostatic is somniostatic. Somniostatic stands on his own. And the vast majority of them did. Yeah, sake but is somniostatic's alt. Has See? A lunatic fringe. Suppressing free speech is not the answer. Holding rioters accountable for their actions is the answer. And we are. True, all. Catherine. And if we prosecuted BLM and Antifa rioters across the country with the same determination, where does Baba Booey come from? Months, uh, Baba Booey is, is from the Howard Stern show. Baba Booey. This incident may not have happened at all. Now, short of declaring <gasps> war, the power of impeachment is the most solemn and consequential Sodies act that Congress can I think Sodies are here. To use it in this manner, Bodies. in the heat of the moment, I'm with so no thirsty. hearings, no due process, many Hold members on, go check in, a in their votes after a hastily so right called now. debate, exactly one week before a new president is to take office, trivializes this power to the point of caricature. I got to listen to this first, though. The Democrats have won everything in sight. The House, the Senate, and the presidency. In a republic, that calls for magnanimity by the victor. No, it does not. No, it fucking republic. doesn't. You fucking coward. You weaselly coward. You had no such magnanimity when you had control. You say shameless pieces of shit. He says, oh, they have control of the Senate, the House, and the... Uh, be nice to us. Ooh, 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 we're so nice. As he's literally pushing anti-max. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Does it call little for spineless little coward bitch? Benjamin Franklin warned us that Fuck passion you. governs, and she never governs wisely. In our passions this week, we've set some dangerous new precedents that will haunt us for Your years. Your followers to come. did. Yesterday, Your followers we redefined did. intemperate speech as a physical incapacity requiring removal from office. Today, we define it as a high crime. Yeah, because it's the color that matches their fucking piss pants. Well, That's what it is. Any member of this body gives an impassioned speech, and the lunatic fringe of their movement takes license from it. Be prepared to Jeannie, you're pushing to it with that poll. That we I, 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 those are funny, now, but. I could cite plenty of provocative speeches made by Democrats that directly preceded violence this summer. But we've you're pushing already it, Gina. Had enough of that. You know, after 600,000 Americans had perished in the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln appealed to the better angels of our nature. He said with malice Abraham Lincoln none, would have fucking hated all of your guts. Abraham Lincoln would have hated all of your motherfucking guts. With charity for all, let us bind up the nation's wounds. Those words were so important to the unity of our nation. Yeah, after the Civil War. That was after the Civil War. That was after Sherman's fucking march to the sea, you fucking idiot. Nice little piece of histo ahistorical bullshit there. This guy makes me Lincoln so mad. Memorial. I cannot think of a I know, more it's petty, disgusting, somniostatic. vindictive, and gratuitous act than to impeach an already defeated president a week before he is to leave office. I can. How about, how about pu pushing multiple conspiracy theories that lead to the undermining of, of fucking law in the United States that, lead to, that, that literally lead to the democratic process breaking down? What about that? That's more petty. President-elect Biden's promise to heal the nation becomes a hollow mockery in the harsh reality Aww, okay. of this un okay, un un cash. Uh, See you constitutional later. act. The God help our country. Expired. Yeah, fuck you. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. Reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. And now yield one minute to the gentlelady from California, Ms. Lofgren. The gentlewoman from California is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I'm the only member of Congress who's been involved in all three of the last presidential impeachments. Those were long proceedings. 
Today, we don't need a long investigation. No, no, no defenestrator. The president incited right wing. No, I haven't. Does she? Is it during Congress this? To try to overturn constitutional government, the actions were in public, plain as day. His actions are the most serious offense oh my against God. our constitution we'll and our country. They are impeachable acts. The founders devised the impeachment clause to protect against a president who would threaten constitutional order. If we don't act now, to, the impeachment clause would essentially be meaningless. Faced with these facts, if we don't impeach to protect our country, Bill we will fail our own oath Bill Clinton. to protect and defend the Constitution. We're not watching the full United eight hour, we're watching the shorter one. Against all enemies, foreign and this yes, is important. domestic. We have no choice. We must in time has expired. God bless America. The gentleman from New York reserves. Yeah, Cory Bush seems awesome. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs. The gentleman from Arizona is recognized Here for two go. minutes. Here we go. It is with weariness and a certain unhealthy, morbid curiosity that I watch the beast attempt to devour President Donald J. Trump again. The craving to crush President Trump has never been. I watch the beast. Oh my God! Satisfied, not through investigations, not through false These allegations, these people are and not fucking even brain dead. Impeachment that was wholly without merit, and the timing of this impeachment makes little sense. Your candidate, your candidate, will take office in a few hours, and President Trump will relinquish the levers of power to President-elect Biden. But your craving was never a Biden victory, nor in was a few it hours. a defeat. You believe that your hunger yeah, exactly. Will be so much for flag codes, exactly. This president He's spitting and coughing all over this fucking bullshit. Without completion of his full term of office, you don't merely seek victory, but you seek obliteration of your nemesis. The thirst for Trump's destruction will not be slaked, however, even if you're successful today and were the Senate to convict President Trump. Yours will be a pyrrhic victory, for instead of stopping the Trump train. His movement will grow stronger, for you will have made him a martyr. Unironically said the Trump train. Surely you're this guy's a Donald this user. Allies in the media seek to censor conservative voices. Your chums that sit on the boards of corporate America, yes, the same companies that the left vilifies, promise to starve Republicans from receiving their PAC donations. But I bet that the groundswell of support for President Trump and his policies will not go away. You see, the movement he yes, started is based on building an incredibly robust economy on a foundation of lower taxes and fewer regulations that has the wonderful effect of putting more people to work than ever. It is built upon a strong military they that don't is care, from endless wars. They don't wars. care, Wolfgar. They don't think ahead. It provides border security. It is, it is first trade agreement, categorically, peace and stability. Uh, they, they, Those they are, are the categorically the impossible. Uh, inca Your Jesus, I can't even say it. Fuck it. I'm categorically incapable of speaking at the moment. While you will no doubt yeah, this guy's a peed, after for sure. Of this movement. But your appetite will be unfulfilled. They can't think I forward. You, they don't think long term. Do not, They're incapable of I'm it. I'm mixing metaphors here. Attempt to douse the remaining burning embers of this movement with gasoline. No one wants that. I urge you, please, to reconsider the reckless action in which you engage today. The gentleman's time has expired. Yield. The gentleman from oh, Ohio Reserve. F the gentleman from New York is recognized. Man, speak Might right have to refresh. One minute to the gentleman from California, Mr. Schiff. The gentleman from California is recognized for one minute. One week ago, the president incited an insurrection against Congress to prevent the peaceful transition of power. It was the most dangerous moment for our democracy in a century. Today, we invoke the remedy the founders provided for just such a lawless president, impeachment. More important We're today, back. we begin the long road no, to we restoration. Will. Yeah, we will, absolutely, America Catherine. has been of through course. a civil war, world wars, a Great Depression, pandemics, McCarthyism, and now a Trumpist and white yeah, nationalist Yeah, it's okay. It was a, a brief internet and outage. It's back. And yet our democracy endures. It endures because at every juncture, every pivotal moment, when evil threatened to overtake good, patriotic Americans step forward to say, enough. This is one of those moments. To preserve this sacred place, this citadel of democracy for I don't ourselves what this guy's and for name posterity, is. let us say, enough. Enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Schiff back. is a way better gentleman, speaker than Pelosi, for sure. Back. The gentleman from New York Reserves. The Adam gentleman Schneef. from Ohio is recognized. Oh, yeah, Thank Eric Swalwell. That's right, Eric the Swalwell. Texas, Mr. Gomer. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. Here's a quote. I just don't even... Fuck this guy, by the way. Louis Gohmert is a piece of shit. 
even know why there aren't more up aren't uprisings all over the country and maybe there will be holy fuck what did i tell you what the fuck did i tell you or sadly the domestic enemies of our vote it's all right gina don't worry i'll handle constitution it constitution are right at 1600 pennsylvania avenue with their allies in congress no, of the gina. united states we were called enemies of the state. Gina! Those are all quotes from our speaker. Now, no! On our side, we didn't take those to be impeachable because we, we didn't believe she surely meant that. But by the Democrats taking this action, you're telling me, no, when we say those, we actually mean Gina to nuked, incite Gina nuked violence. herself. That's what this action is saying. Look. I just looked on the History Channel. It says these words, if the Judiciary Committee, talking about impeachment, finds sufficient grounds, its members write and pass articles of impeachment, which then go to the full House for a vote. Half of all the impeachments ever conducted, ever voted for, occurred under this speaker. You're setting a precedent that says very clearly, because this impeachment isn't going to work, but it's, it is setting the precedent. Unlike a year ago when we said, look, it shouldn't go through intel, it should go through Judiciary Committee. Forget that. Now the message is... This guy has no fucking clue. This guy has no fucking clue how to communicate ideas to other people. I can't even imagine what it must be like to try and discuss, like, fucking laws with this asshole. If you have a whim and you want to just go after a president, just go straight to the floor. No investigation, no judiciary committee. Go straight to the floor. Use it as a political weapon as you wish. This is so dangerous what you're doing. Forgetting all the precedents. Yes, we can argue back and forth, but you're using this Gina. as a weapon. And you're destroying I freed this Gina. little experiment in self-government. Yeah, I'll in bump it more. Time, the gentleman's time has expired. It needs Unfortunately, the audio is pretty low, um, but I'll try and boost as much as I can. The Just gentleman stop. from I yield back. The gentleman from Ohio Reserves, the gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentlelady from uh, Massachusetts, Ms. Clark. The gentlewoman from Massachusetts is recognized for one minute. Oh, so come in. Pog! Thank you! Hey, look, it's Yodi! Hi, Yoda! Oh, out she goes. Thank you! Yes! Delicious. No, it's, it's not an energy soda. It's just, um, it's Mountain Dew Kickstart. It's fucking good. It's good shit. It's fucking good shit. We'll bring Yoni on for sure later. Uh, she's ready for dinner. She was following my partner around for dinner. Hello. This is now an ASMR stream. I don't actually have a binaural mic, so I can't help you that much. Suffragist and abolitionist Lucy Stone stated, if we speak the truth fearlessly, we shall add to our number those who will turn Wait, the scale oh, to the side of- Corvus, um, try logging out and logging back in. Yeah, try logging out and logging back in. Sometimes uh, sub, sub subscriptions don't show up right away. Equal and full justice in all things. The truth is President Did I miss yours, Trump Corvus? incited a violent attack against the United States government. The truth is, President Trump spent his presidency inflaming hate, white supremacy, anti-Semitism, and violence. The truth is he was enabled by all those who perpetuated the lie that the most secure election in our nation's history was stolen. The truth is that these seditious actions left, left five dead, our capital besieged, True. our security threatened, and our democracy hanging in the balance. And the truth is, a vote to impeach is our resounding declaration that the government 
of the people, by the people, for the people, no shall not perish life. from the earth. The gentleman from New York wishes to reserve. Reserve. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank 21? you, Madam Speaker. I yield one minute to the gentleman from California, Mr. Ice. The gentleman from California 12. is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. What a combo. The last speaker said that for four years, the president did all these terrible, insightful things, including anti-Semitism. I take exception with that, but I think it's important that we oh, embrace 30. one thing that was said. Yes, Corvus. the president has been consistent. Hold on, Corvus. What the heck is going on here? Wait, Corvus, did you sub on the site? Corvus, did you sub on the site? What the fuck? Wait, did you sub on the website, Corvus? I didn't get a notification for it. 30 combo, though. That's fucking great. And for the last four years. During his campaign, I even, well, representing another uh, candidate, said that the president had political yeah, Tourette's. He said cameo. it was on his mind without a filter. I don't think that's being debated here today. We all know that's true. What's being debated is whether with 167 hours left until he leaves office, is he a clear and present danger? And he clearly isn't. The president has acted substantially the same for four years. He has rallied his base. And he has, in fact, called for peaceful protest, as he did just a few days Thank ago. Thank you, Somniostatic. Okay, is, Corvus, you should be able to now. we are trying to punish the president, at least some Try are, it now, for Corvus. four years of what he did. Thank you, Somniostatic. what happened last week. What happened last week was the, was the result of anarchists who came loaded, prepared. These were not anarchists. These were fucking fascists. Fascists. And with Fire. weapons. With the that, I yield back. Time has expired. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. Reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Richmond. The gentleman from Louisiana is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today in my last floor speech in this body. Good trouble. To do what I was sworn to do on the first day, to protect and defend the Constitution. President Trump put the domestic terrorists on notice by saying, stand back and stand by. He then summoned them to D.C., yes, directed he did. them to march on the Capitol. Remember, Donald Trump literally used his Twitter account to organize the 6th. Donald Trump has members of his administration that coordinate with the Donald, where the Donald was explicitly, members of the Donald were openly and explicitly advocating for violence to be done on the 6th. And Donald Trump still urged people to come on the 6th. And then he sat back and watched the insurrection. Some of my colleagues, some of which may well be co-conspirators, in their latest attempt to placate and please this unfit president, suggest that we shouldn't punish Trump for his actions in order to unify the country. That is the climax of foolishness. Let me suggest to them, stand up, man up, woman up and defend this constitution from all enemies foreign and domestic including donald j trump in the first impeachment republicans said up. we didn't need to impeach him because he learned his lesson so no need to remove him and be up well yeah. we said if we didn't remove him he would do it again the gentleman's time has expired simply put we told you so the gentleman's time has expired richmond out i reserve <laughs> Richmond out? Yo, what? Yo, what? <laughs> Richmond out. Recognized. <laughs> you have two minutes to the gentlelady from Arizona, Ms. Lesko. The gentlewoman from Arizona is recognized. That was awesome. Thank that was you, awesome. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in opposition to the resolution. At a time when our country needs unity, it is concerning that my Democratic colleagues have chosen to begin impeachment proceedings against a president with just seven days left in office. All legal challenges have been exhausted. Congress has certified <laughs> electors over she's objections. From, she's from Peoria. <laughs> and Joe Biden <laughs> will be the next president of the United States. 
President Trump has indicated he will peacefully transfer power to President-elect <laughs> Biden next week. <laughs> so why <laughs> pursue impeachment just one week before he leaves office? I've heard my colleagues on the other side of the aisle oh, no. say they have to impeach the president because he is too Anthem. dangerous to stay in power. Yet they know that it is impossible for the Senate to remove him before his term expires. So what is the point? To never let him take power this again, you fucking idiot. To president never let him take nation. power again. If Congress is going to impeach a president, it must not only be done after intense debate and deliberation, not rush through in the 11th hour to make a political point. Yeah, this right, impeachment yeah, attempt yeah, is dangerous yeah. for our country and has far-reaching implications Debbie, you for have a weak future. voice. And with that, Madam Speaker, I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. The gentleman from New weak York is voice, recognized. Weak voice, weak chin. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from New York, Mr. And your Jeffrey. brooch is ugly. The Fuck you. The gentleman from New York is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I did not come to Congress to impeach Donald Trump, but the constitutional crimes by an out-of-control president inspired by his hatred and the big lie that he told cannot be ignored. Donald Trump is a living, breathing, impeachable offense. It is what it is. True. The violent attack on the U.S. Capitol was an act of insurrection incited by Donald Trump. He is a clear and present danger to the health, safety, and well-being of the American people and that is I don't know why anything about this guy. Is I know nothing about him, but he House did say it true. He did, a, he did say it true. With a bipartisan majority. Violence will not win. Insurrection will not win. Sedition will not win. Terror will not win. Lawlessness will not win. The fuck happened Mob there? rule will not win. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Democracy the will prevail. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from New York reserves. reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Madam Speaker, we reserve. Gentleman that was reserves. weird. The gentleman from New York. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from California, Mr. Aguiar. The gentleman from California is recognized for one minute. Oh, struggling there a little bit. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On January 3rd, we stood here on this floor and swore an oath to defend our Constitution against enemies, foreign and domestic. Three days later, napping, that yeah. oath was put to the test. To be fair, he was cleaning his hands. That's kind of nice. tried to break down those doors to stop us from performing our constitutional duty. This mob was not without a leader. On that day, the president the one on the right is to Eric walk to this Capitol 16 blocks from where he stood. They were radicalized by his lies and conspiracy theories he spent months fueling, many of which I've heard on this floor the last week. Yeah, he no needed problem. to say only two words to end the violence. I concede, because that's what leaders do in a democracy, because that's what we do in the United States. They put politics aside and put country first. And as I look to our colleagues over on the other side, I wonder how many of them will demonstrate that leadership and join us in holding President Trump accountable for yeah, inciting this deadly attack. Right, speaker. How many will uphold our oath and put our country first yeah, he to does defend look like this Constitution yeah, he does look like Richard Spencer, from the though. threat in the White House? To Aww, do anything less is to turn your back Samoski. on the oath altogether. Thank you. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Oh, yeah, Madam she's going to talk We continue to reserve. The gentleman from Ohio continues to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield Three minutes to the gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Cicilline. The gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Cicilline, is recognized for three minutes. Madam Speaker, for more than 220 years since George Washington yielded the presidency to John Adams, the peaceful transfer of power has been a hallmark of our democracy. In this country, the Peace will of the Bill. American people reigns supreme over the Peace ambitions Bill. of any individual. Every single president has honored and upheld these principles until now. Donald Trump lost his bid for re-election last November. It was a free and fair election. In fact, President Trump's own election security director called it the most secure election in U.S. history. But for two months now, Donald Trump has refused to accept the will of the American people. Over and over again, he's told his supporters he didn't really lose. 
The elector was stolen from them yeah. and from them. Peen's and as they grew angrier and angrier over the speeches Look, it's of the he told them, there was still peanuts. a way to keep him in power. So as Congress prepared to meet for the sacred ritual of certifying the results of the president's election, the president made his move. He directed his supporters to travel to Washington Peanuts for pill. a rally to stop the steal. They did. Me too, me too. He then once assembled, he had one final request. Mark on the U.S. Capitol, do what it takes to help me hold on to power. We will never give up. Wound socket. We will never concede, he told them. You, you, you don't fight like hell, he warned. You're not going to have a country anymore. The people on You've the ellipse that day heard his that. message loud and clear. They answered his call for insurrection. As the third-ranking Republican in this chamber put it, he summoned the mob, good night, assembled Sky Grace. the Thanks mob, for being and here. lit the flame of this attack. Armed with guns, pipe bombs, bats, shields, zip ties, and more, they set their sights on the U.S. Capitol. They stormed the Citadel oh, of no, our the democracy. Oh, no, the peanuts didn't work. Hundreds of domestic terrorists did what Donald Trump wanted them to do. They seized Oof. the Capitol and tried to end our country's 234-year experiment in democracy as the Trump family and White House aides watched gleefully on television. They searched the halls of this building for the vice president, who they came to hang for treason. They overran the office of the speaker, who they came to assassinate. They sought above all else to seize control of our government in the name of Donald Trump. We're getting some good Let combos tonight. In. The terrorists oh. who stormed this building planned to hang the vice president, kill the speaker, and topple our government. They took down the American Focus. flag. Okay. Let's get back to the coverage, yeah? Let's get back to the coverage. You had to wipe on a raid boss for two hours straight. Did the rob command come in handy? Yes, it did, Silent. It genuinely did. I'm getting roasted by YouTube chat, but it's all right. We got to return to the politics for a bit, okay? Listen, we've got some more hearings to go through. Together, we will go. Let's continue. Form these halls last Wednesday did not succeed in toppling our republic. We must ensure they never do. I implore you to join us in supporting this article, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from New York reserves this time. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would yield one minute to the gentleman from New Jersey, Mr. Van Drew. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized for one minute. What the fuck is this outfit? The fuck is this outfit? We've been here. He looks like fucking Ronald McDonald or some shit. Before. We've done this before. This has failed before. We fractured our nation using the same process. Did they get this guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> dripped out in the inside of SpongeBob's house. What the fuck? This is the ugliest suit I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Before. Congress must be the glue that starts unifying everyone. By the time this process would conclude, the man they want out of office will no longer even be the president. Yes. We, want we don't want him to ever become the president ever again or have any political power whatsoever. Fuck you. This is not the way. America was and is the leading light in the world. This proceeding is This is what you look like when you use Edge. This is what you look like when you use Edge. You look like this guy. So what you look like when you use Edge or Chrome. Our nation in darkness. Nearly half the country supports our current president. This takes their voice away. We must be bigger and better than the most base of instincts that have been driving our political discourse. It is destroying us. Let's link arms with one another and begin to heal. Yes, Gina. Because as it turns out, you use Chrome? Oh no, Gina. Oh God. They're in. The call came from in the house. Um, listen, you can be a, you can be a browser elitist. Yes, you can. Because browsing is a tool, and some tools are worse than others. But music, music, is subjective and artistic. There you go. That's all I'm going to say on it. Stop this impeachment. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, Shut I up, yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Nagoose. The gentleman from Colorado is Got you, dizzy eyes. one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you to the chairman. President Trump's actions, encouraging Mr. Dugnut, yeah. a mob that stormed the United States Capitol, 
for the sole purpose of stopping the constitutionally mandated This guy's mask is cool vote. as fuck. Okay, yeah. look, I'm sorry, but this is the coolest looking mask that I've seen all day besides maybe Pelosi's. Pelosi's did look nice. Look at this though. Wow. This guy's got a fucking cool This mask looks like old school. Yeah, but no, but look, it looks old school. It looks like a mask you'd that you'd see in like fucking 1925. It's cool. Yeah, it's like padded and has like a texture to it. This looks like a fucking cool ass World War. Yeah, World War One mask. You've never seen a jock strap. What are you talking about? The jock strap one is the one that goes way up the side of your face. This is like a surgeon mask. Yeah. And not go unanswered by this body. He must be impeached. If Congress does not act, hey, we shrink from our Gluby, we love you. Don't leave. Defend our republic. And look, you were supported. Undoubtedly undermine Gluby, the don't of America run away. As the last best. Don't run away, Gluby. We love you. As Abraham Lincoln. I'm bullying you about your taste so in, in browser, but that's years it. Ago. So to the millions love of you, Americans Gluby. watching today, I hope you understand that we are proceeding on this path out of love for our country. I will honor my oath today. I will vote for impeachment and I pray that my colleagues will muster the courage to do the same and with that I yield back the gentleman yields back the gentleman from New York reserves the gentleman from Ohio is recognized Madam Speaker we reserve oh good gentleman job Luby from Ohio reserves. no gentleman we weren't law York. boy Madam he was Speaker, just getting now yield Gluby just has a victim minutes. complex it's okay I mean I, I take that back to the distinguished gentleman from South Carolina Mr. Clyburn the gentleman from South Carolina is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the gentleman for yielding the time. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of the article of impeachment. Last Wednesday, we gathered to follow the Constitution's simple instruction to count the electoral votes that have been tallied by the states and submitted to us. This president refused to accept those results. Instead, he sought to overturn them by inciting a violent insurrection. By the way, remember what we learned earlier today? Remember that Clyburn's office was targeted? Do we remember that? Remember that? But we were not deterred from doing our constitutional duty. Today, we must do our constitutional duty once again. While the president failed in his attempt to upend our democracy last Wednesday, events make clear that if we do not hold him accountable BTD and remove him from power, a future attempt could very well BTD be successful. Six. The survival of our democracy depends on Bloons the seated candidates defense. Oh, cool. Good job. their defeats, as has been the case in every president's election since 1864. Our January 6th joint session is a vital part of the transfer of power not the contest for power. Vice President Gore understood this, accepting and certifying the 2000 election result in which he was defeated. Vice President Biden understood this, accepting and certifying this president's victory in the 2016 election. This president's refusal to participate in the peaceful transfer of power and his role in the exciting of the last week's violence posed an existential threat to our constitutional democracy. This threat must be extinguished immediately. You spy the chaos, indeed. This president I was checking must YouTube chat. Be impeached and convicted. Sometimes it and makes this window go away. I don't know why. From ever attempting to seize power again. With that, are you about? True. Hey, he brought up the main point. Good on you, Clyburn. Gentleman from New York Reserves, the gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Colorado, Mr. Buck. The gentleman from Colorado is recognized for two minutes. Super good. I thank the gentleman You're welcome. For it's a great game. Time. Fucking amazing Madam game. Madam Speaker, and it I've just keeps getting better. President Trump radicalized the group that the rioters who stormed this Capitol. And I would say that we need to look no further than ourselves to find out what happened and to look at history. Americans were frustrated when they learned that the FBI was investigating the Trump campaign. Wait a minute, wait a second. This guy's mask, does this guy's mask not look like he cut open a, a blue solo cup? 
Doesn't this look like a like he cut open a blue solo cup? Look at it. It does. Blue solo cup. What are you who voted yes? Who the fuck voted yes? Oh my god. Anyway, blue solo cup. They were frustrated to learn that the Obama administration and the DNC they blast out the sides of their tech debt campaign against the Trump administration. They they were frustrated, Madam Speaker, when the the inauguration of the president was boycotted by over 40 Democrat members of this house. They were frustrated to read in the New York in the Washington Post the day after the inauguration. Let the impeachment begin. They were frustrated when members of this House spoke over and over about impeaching the president yeah, days B into B his administration. And then the socialists in Hollywood joined their allies in Congress. Robert De Niro said that he wanted to punch the president in the face. Madonna thought about blowing up. Literally still mad about Robert De Niro and Madonna. These people are so pathetic. The White House. Kathy Lee Griffin held up a, a likeness of the bitch! president's uh, beheaded bitch! head. Bitch! Cry more, bitch! And nothing was said by my colleagues at that point in time. She's a comedian, you whiny bitch! In fact, one Democrat colleague said that Trump supporters should be harassed wherever they are, in restaurants, on the street, in supermarkets. During this prime, the president was under... <laughs> Did you hear that in the background? That's not what I said. <laughs> in the background, you just hear, that's not what I said. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to hear. Listen. That Listen. Trump supporters I can't boost the audio anymore. Wherever they are, in restaurants, on the street, in supermarkets. During this prime, <laughs> the president was Did under... Did you hear it? Did you hear it? That's not what I said. <laughs> Investigation by a special counsel who found no collusion, no conspiracy with Russia. Oh my God, the so good. President's supporters were harassed. Ajit Pai, the, the uh, head of the FCC, was called a dirty, sneaky Indian. His children were harassed in school. The press secretary, Kirsten Nelson, was, uh, I'm sorry, the press secretary, Sarah Sanders, was kicked out of a restaurant for being a Trump uh, employee. The Racism DHS is not secretary, cool, though. Kirsten Nelson, was harassed by their home. Trump donors were publicly. Gentlemen's time has expired. I'm sorry you couldn't hear me when the mic wasn't on. <laughs> Loser! Couldn't even finish his stupid speech. Loser! Bye, solo cuphead. The gentleman from Ohio reserves. Reserve. I'm being such an asshole. I'm sorry. I'm being so fucking annoying right now. I don't care. These people are fucking annoying. The I'm going to be obnoxious. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield two minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Raskin. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized for two minutes. Smashing windows and beating police officers over the head with fire extinguishers, a bloodthirsty mob attacked the Capitol. And yeah, they're not. This Congress Isn't that weird, Wednesday. Humphead Sassy? They erected a gallows All and repeatedly. It's funny. It's funny that Rob Nor speaks like a politician. Aw, thank you, Dizzy Eyes. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, there's nothing to do but but jeer at these people. It's pathetic. Wait, this guy lost his son. Oh, that's really sad. That's sad. Chanted. Hang Mike Pence. They stormed Speaker oh, no, Pelosi's to COVID? office yelling, Oh, he killed Nancy. himself. They oh, brandished no. the Confederate battle flag and occupied the Senate chamber. They wounded dozens of people, hospitalizing dozens of people, killed five of our people. For six hours, they shut down the counting of electoral... We're going to break away from this floor debate to hear from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who is holding an engrossment ceremony following today's vote to impeach President Trump for his conduct before and during the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. This is live coverage on C-SPAN. No, Gina, you can't ban yourself. It's not allowed. Hmm, 
I didn't know there was a co-op mode. I don't know. Maybe. You better 50-50 this poll. 50-50 this poll, you people. 50-50 it. You better 50-50 this Good evening, chat. everyone. Uh, it is my honor to be here with members of the House leadership. Leader Hoyer. With what the fuck, chat? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Clyburn. Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark. Uh, also with our manager uh, for the impeachment, our lead manager, Jamie Raskin. Diana DeGette, David Cicilline, Joaquin Castro, Eric Swan. And much. All right, let's watch this, okay? It's getting unruly down here. Let's fucking let's rein it in. Let's enjoy this nonsense. Oh, well. Madeline Dean and Joe Nagoose. I think uh, Ted Lou and Slacey Paskett are in here telecommute electronically, one way or another. But we're very proud that they have accepted the responsibility. A responsibility we did not think one <laughs> Good night, law ago, boy. Have a wonderful we night. would have. Today, in a bipartisan way, the House demonstrated that no one is above the law, not even the President of the United States. That Donald Trump is a clear and present danger to our country, and that once again, we honored our oath of office to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help us God. True. And now? Yep. Rare, rare emote. Spam Kietis. Good, good emote. People don't know what it means. Country. Maybe we and should change that to Fawn so it's not named Kietis anymore. Maybe I should do that. Well, in sign the I think I'll do that. Of the article of impeachment. We'll change it to be Fawn so that people know what it is. <laughs> that was a good segment, wasn't it, Catherine? I should oh I should make that into a TikTok. I'm gonna put that on my TikTok list. Thank you. Speaker Pelosi, are you disappointed that Peter McConnell said that you keep a lot of other trials on the 19th? Hey, Speaker Pelosi, how long do you think the trial will last? When do you plan to sign the paperwork for the Senate? I'm gonna ask Danny for that. You do? Then help me, Glooby. Then help me. There you have House Speaker Nancy Pelosi signing the one article of impeachment against President Trump Good for night, the twos. incitement of insurrection. The next step is a trial in the Senate, but Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has made it clear he does not plan on bringing the Senate back into session before January 19th, so a trial would not occur until after Inauguration Day. Now we take you back to earlier today when members were debating the article of impeachment on the House. Fuck Gates. And tore through the president's State of the Union speech. God, I hate Matt Gates. He's so he's such resentment. He's so repulsive in every way. Some believe that. Truly, Good to see you, Pink Wug. True colors are being shown now through this divisive partisan impeachment. The Speaker of the House, I would request an additional 40 seconds. Ex ex go through the Speaker, please. The gentleman from Ohio. Madam Speaker, I yield the gentleman an additional 40 seconds. The uh, 40 four seconds. seconds or 40 seconds? Yep, 40 seconds. 40 think, sec I think 45 seconds. I thank the gentleman. The Speaker said to us just moments ago, words matter. But apparently those words don't matter when they're uttered by Democrats. True, When the movie. gentle lady from Massachusetts calls for unrest in the streets. That's true. When the gentle lady from California brazenly brags yep. that she called for people to get in the faces of those who serve and support the president. I denounced political violence from all ends of the spectrum. But make no mistake. I the love the yep in America has Holy shit, I love this yep emote. political violence than the right. For months, our cities burned. Police stations burned, our businesses were shattered, and they said nothing. Or they cheerled for it, and they fundraised for it, and they allowed it to happen in the greatest country in the world. Now, some have cited, some have cited the metaphor that the president lit the flame. Well, they lit actual flames, actual fires, 
and we time put them out. expired, there will be order in the House. I yield back. The gentleman from Ohio, do you wish to reserve your time? Reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Jesus uh, Christ, that was pathetic. And now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from California, Mr. Swalwell. The gentleman from Here we go. California Here's Eric Swalwell. is recognized for one minute. America has been attacked before, but not like this. On January 6th, Donald Pink Trump we are watching the de we are watching the congressional debate over the impeachment. As we all know, Donald Trump was impeached for the second time, breaking world records. Um uh breaking world records. Um and we're watching some of the highlights of that. We're watching the highlights from the debate more or less so we can hear what people have to say. And there are, a lot of them are very infuriating. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Wendell B. Thousands of radicalized terrorists to attack the Capitol to Don't stop Don't do it, Gina. It's not worth it. Power. It's not worth Let it. Let that sink in. Our president incited our citizens to attack our Capitol. America was not attacked in the past sense. Oh, we got a Ilan this Omar? President has What's this? Inspired future plots. America is still... What do we got from Ilan Omar? Let me see. Hey, Matt Gates, those actual flames you were talking about were also actually set by the far right. I'm sure you knew that, but why have a good lie go to waste, I guess? Member of the far right Boogaloo Boys arrested in connection to rioting during George Floyd protests. George Floyd protests, Boogaloo member held in precinct attack. Boogaloo Boy charged in fire of Minneapolis police precinct. Another Boogaloo Boys member federally charged. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, no, not the mustard tweet. You're not getting me this time, Satan. Satan neostatic. You're not getting me this time. Not this time. Under attack, not today. And that's why Donald Trump must be impeached. I've read many of my GOP colleagues know what the president did was wrong, but are afraid for their lives if they cross the president. Yikes. I'm sorry that you're living in fear, but now is the time to summon your courage to guide you. We have all seen the images of the courageous officers who have risked their lives so that you could flee this floor and see your families. That was almost a week ago right now. Officers engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat for hours with these terrorists. Capitol Police were spit on, beaten, stampeded, and one of them lost their lives. I'm not asking you to summon the courage that they did. I'm just asking you to do your job and the hold this president time has accountable. Expired. Damn. The yeah, Swalwell has good rhetoric. Yeah, yeah Madam I agree. Speaker, we the reserve. gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Yeah, yeah, we, Madam Speaker, we reserve. I don't think the he's like. Reserves. I don't think he's like based or anything like that. Recognized. I just, I, I think he does have good rhetoric. Gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentleman from Texas, Mr. Castro. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Julian Castro. Donald Trump is the most dangerous man to ever occupy the Oval Office. I want to take you back one week ago today. When oh, wait, people sorry, were uh, Joaquin. This doors, is Joaquin Castro. His brother is Julian. Breaking the windows. I get them mixed up all weapons, the time. Arms, no, Glooby. Not bombs, today. No. Coming here to harm all of you, to harm the Speaker, to harm the Senate. Let me ask you a question. What do you think they would have done? If they had gotten in, what are do they you twins? Think they would have done to you, and who do you think sent them here? The most dangerous man to ever occupy the Oval Office. If inciting a deadly insurrection is not enough to get a president impeached, I didn't know they were twins. I thought they were just is? brothers. I didn't All know they were twins. All of us must answer that question today. The yeah, I'm not fucking falling for the mustard link. Requires us. To impeach nope. and remove Not today. Donald John Trump. Not today, Trump. you motherfuckers. Time has expired. Gentleman from New York reserves. I, I reserve. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Madam Speaker, we reserve. Gentleman from Ohio reserves this time. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Not today, Madam mustard Speaker, fuckers. Yeah, exactly, Sanders. The distinguished gentlelady from Pennsylvania, Ms. Dean. The gentlelady from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, one week ago today, I was trapped in this House chamber as the banging on the doors began. I feared for colleagues, reporters, and staff. I feared for myself. The attack on the Capitol will never be forgotten. 
The President and many in this chamber have shamelessly peddled dangerous untruths about the election, despite the oh, warnings really? of where those lies would lead. And last Wednesday, those lies and dangers found themselves inside true, this Capitol. True, anti-Valix, that's true. This hateful rhetoric is another deadly virus. It is time to remove it from its host. To heal, we need accountability and truth. That begins by acknowledging the President's dangerous lies and their deadly consequences. Removing Donald Trump is the beginning of restoring decency and democracy. What happened True. last week will not be forgotten, and what we do this week will long be remembered. Vote yes on impeachment, and I yield back. Gentle lady yields back. The gentleman from New York reserves I don't know his how that time. Works. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. I don't know how uh, that thank works. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's uh, my, my pleasure to yield uh, one minute to the uh, But the I, respect the, uh, I respect the, the joke uh, structure. California, Mr. McCarthy. The gentleman from California is recognized for one minute. Thank you, gentlemen, for yielding. We'll see some neostatic. I don't know. It's hard to say. Let me be clear. Last week's violent attack on the Capitol see, was undemocratic. This, this style of mask right here, this is the jockstrap mask. This is the jockstrap mask. Fuck this. Un-American and criminal. Violence is never a legitimate form of protest. Freedom of speech and assembly under the Constitution Then vote accordingly, you fucking bloated coward. Yet the violent mob that descended upon this body was neither peaceful nor democratic. It acted to disrupt Congress's constitutional responsibility. It was also an attack on the people who worked in this institution. Members, staff, on and the holiday. hundreds who worked behind the scenes so that we can serve the American people. There's a lot. We're not going to do all the of them. The greatest statesman in the history We're just watching of our the big country ones. understood that the most dangerous threat to freedom is lawlessness. A young lawyer named Abraham Lincoln famously said, It's a weird no link there, Tech Debt. It's a weird that link. That is a fit object of redress by mob law. It's a weird link you got Yet there. Yet for several hours last week, mob law tried to interfere with Constitution. Mob law? Mob Some law? Some say the riots were caused by Antifa. There is absolutely no evidence of that. And conservatives should be the first to say so. No, it just looks stupid is all, Catherine. Conservatives also know that the only thing that stops mob violence is to meet it with force rooted in justice and backed by moral courage. And last week we saw mob violence. Yeah, traditionally, yes, true. Traditionally, the way that you stop civil unrest is by cracking down with the full force of the state. Yeah, that has a history of working. You know who did that? Hmm. There's this little dude named uh, Adolf Hitler. Remember that guy? Remember Adolf Hitler? How'd that work out for him? Didn't he, uh, didn't he do the old... Yeah, just saying. You know, just saying. Just reminding you. Met by courage. Sacrifice and heroism from the brave men and women who protect this yeah, institution true. every day. Yeah, <laughs> true. Hitler was 100 years ago. But for the ba bravery of the Capitol uh, Police... Ah, it's all right, Catherine. And law, We're just roasting this guy. It probably looks good on greater. you. We owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. The loss of Officer Brian Sednick and Officer Howard Lindegood is tragic and heartbreaking. We mourn their loss, remember their lives, and continue to Crocodile pray for tears their is what we have right here. and loved ones. The officers of the Capitol Police. I'm not roasting you all. I'm sure they look thanks. fine on you. They look stupid on this we guy. We will never forget the dangers they faced, the determination they showed, or the sacrifices they made. And make no mistake. Yeah, me too. Those who are responsible for Wednesday's chaos. This is like chaos the 20th Lincoln reference. But just remember, just remember, the people this fuck motherfucker, the people this motherfucker is downplaying right now carried a fucking Confederate flag into the Capitol building. So, yeah, shut the fuck up, these people. These people can shut the fuck up. Which brings me to today's debate. I believe impeaching the president in such a short time frame would be a mistake. No investigations have been completed. No hearings have been held. What's more, the Senate has confirmed that no trial will begin until after President-elect Biden is sworn in. 
But here is what a vote to impeach would do. A vote to impeach would further Littleton. divide this nation. A vote to impeach will further True, fan the flames of partisan division. Shut the fuck up. Most Americans You want to know want what partisan division is? Partisan division is when you have a, a faction of unhinged fascists literally storm in and try to kill other members of Congress that they disagree with. When you have people who sign off on that from within Congress and potentially even help them. Are you fucking kidding me? Neither inaction nor retribution. Unbelievable. They want durable bipartisan justice that path nobody wants available. bipartisan shit with fucking nazis my dude nobody wants your fucking bipartisanship in this era you're asking people you're asking decent people to fucking sidle up alongside fascists who want to kill them no one that is not bipartisanship you cannot have bipartisanship with people who want you dead that is impossible but is not the path we are on today that doesn't mean the president is free from fault. The president bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. These facts This is the most spineless because this guy, this guy is so spineless, he won't even actually just come out and say, "Yeah, I'm a Trump guy. I'm never going to do it." He's got to frame it in like, "Oh, you know, it's because of the timing." Coward. Action. A ultimate coward. Trump. Supreme Except cowardice. Share responsibility. Quell the brewing unrest and ensure President elect Biden is able to successfully begin his term. And the president's immediate action also deserves congressional action, which is why I think a fact finding commission and a censure resolution would be prudent. Unfortunately, that is not where we are today. Truly, this past week was one of the most difficult for Congress and our nation. Of all the days here, yeah. last yeah, Wednesday exactly, was Ken the Med. worst day I've ever seen in Congress. Our country is deeply hurt. Because so of you. Where do we go because of you and here? your party. After all yeah, the fucking violence diet, and chaos diet of fascism. last week, is it important to remember that we are still here to deliver a better future for all Americans? It does not matter if you are liberal, moderate, or conservative. All of us must resist the temptation of further polarization. Instead, we must unite once again as Americans. I understand for some this call for unity may ring hollow. Yes, it does. But for times most. like these are when we must remember who we are as Americans and what we as a nation stand for. And as history shows, Unity is not an option, it's a necessity. It is as necessary today as it was at the start of our country. I want us all to- Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I gotta call somebody out in fucking YouTube chat here. Back to the coverage. To how John Adams and the Federalist Party handed power over to Thomas Jefferson and his party after the election of 1800. He tried that to make a meme, but I got him. And indeed that I era him. was one of the most divisive That's not how it works, Glooby. That's not how it works. Partisans used every dirty trick in the book. They demonized each other, dismissed reasonable dissent, <sighs> and described their opponent Mustard. as seditious. Sound familiar? The election of 1800 could have destroyed our young nation. But instead of breaking us, it helped us bring us together thereby preserving it the world's us last bring us together? best hope of freedom. There was an attempt. After a hard-fought battle over the Electoral College in Congress, Adams conceded. And a peaceful transfer of power. Sure, true, the true, The first in American history took place. Jefferson, for his part, put aside the division of the era and preached forgiveness. Yes, unity. In his first inaugural address, he famously said, every difference of opinion is not a difference of principle. What? Jefferson and Adams did not end not every this difference time, of opinion fucker. that existed in America, nor did they try. In a free country as big and diverse as ours, that would be impossible. 
What they did was more important. They recognized a deeper unity, a unity rooted in the famous proposition, both men helped to write. At a critical moment in history, our founders choice chose peace, liberty, Dude, are you all partnership, right? Over He's stumbling on his words more than I do. Jesus Christ. For the sake of our country, we must make the exact same choice. We have already begun. Last week, despite the lingering shock and amid the windows still broken, we did what all healthy democracies do. We debated and we voted. In you people country, fucking we waited. You people oh, at the ballot box. God, these fucking and, not, and through debates and votes on the floor. Oh, you're getting roasted again. We did our duty then, and we must do more. The eyes of the nation and the world are upon us. We must seize this opportunity and heal and grow stronger. As leaders, our place in history His gasps depends are on so whether annoying. we call on our better angels and refocus our efforts to work directly for the American people. United, we can deliver peace, strength, and prosperity our countries desperately need. Divided, we will fail. What we saw last week was not the American way. Neither is the continued hey, rhetoric. Hey, guess what? Here's a suggestion. If divided we fail, why don't you unite with the Democrats and kick the fuck out of Donald Trump? Joe Biden is not the legitimate president. Let's be clear. Joe Biden will be sworn in as president of the United States in one week because he won the election. That's not and what QAnon thinks. the in this Congress will face immediate challenges that must be addressed. I stand ready to assist in that effort with good faith, goodwill and an open yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly. The United States remains exceptional. We remain extraordinary. In the coming weeks and months, we must work together, all of us. I'm not to clicking that fucking link, Tech Dead. That is the sketchiest the link hill. I've ever seen. History has shown us a way. I'm fucking History that shit. has given us a path. Not today. Just as Adams and Jefferson Sketchy have ass shown, link. Now is the moment that we should do the exact same. In these trying times, we just fucking farted. May God continue to bless America, and let's chart a course that history will repeat, but not what's happening today. I yield back. Did you hear the that? The gentleman though? yields back. The There's gentleman like from Ohio <laughs> continues to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentlelady from Colorado, Ms. Gett. The gentlewoman from Colorado is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, just over a year ago, I stood right there where you're standing today as we took the solemn step of impeaching the President of the United States for pressuring a foreign leader to uh, take unlawful actions to help him in his reelection. And now, just one week ago, almost to the hour, I laid right there on the floor of the gallery above us I heard gunshots in the speaker's lobby. I heard the mob pounding on the door. And what they were trying to do, they were all an angry mob incited by the president trying to stop certification of a legitimate yeah, election. Yeah, that's literally it's what they were doing. They the literally- The president learned nothing in the last year. Yesterday, it took him seven days to denounce again, them. What the did fuck? Nothing wrong. I can't believe we're this actually talking about this at all. He has I'm not mad at this lady, the by the way. I just can't believe He's we're sitting here doing this. Sedition, and he must be removed. And multiple gunshots, by the way. We took a pledge on January 3rd to uphold the Constitution. We must honor that oath. We must vote yes on this article of impeachment. I yield back. Expired. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'll yield one minute to the gentlelady from uh, Colorado. The gentlewoman from Colorado is recognized for one minute. Glory to God. Madam Speaker, I rise today to oppose this impeachment and denounce the recent violence on the Capitol, just as I oppose the previous impeachment and the violence. Glory to God. Glory to God. We've all witnessed all summer long across Glory to God. our Glory great to God. country. Make no mistake here. The hypocrisy of the left is on full display. Quote, go to the Hill. Get in the face of some Congress people. We've this is Bobert. This is Bobert. This is the fucking QAnon. -er. This is Bobert. Yeah, this is the carry my gun in Congress lady. Yeah, this is her. Congress, 
fight in the court, yeah. fight in the street. Take him behind the gym and This is the lady, by the way. Yeah, this is the lady that has made it Okay, okay. Just so you know, just so you know, the FBI is seriously like unironically seriously concerned about the threat of other Congress people harming Congress people on election day. You want to know who it is? Listen, I, I'm not the FBI. I don't know shit about the FBI. But I'm going to guess this is one of the people who they're concerned might be a fucking spree shooter. Not election day. Inauguration day. Sorry. Inauguration day. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the one tweeting out their location. Yes. This person, this person, if there's ever been a fucking fascist agent in the government, this and this person, Bobert and um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, are them. Beat the hell out of him. Take him, go and take Trump out tonight. Sound familiar? What about the gentlewoman from New York who defended the looting by saying looters just wanted loaves of bread? Well, the last I checked, Best Buy and Teslas and stores of the like do not produce baked goods. Where's... What? Hey! For the left. Hey, we got a Vosh raid? Yo! Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Vosh Raiders! Hello, hello, hello! How are you doing? Welcome. Get on in. Come on in. Come on in, you silly geese. Welcome, 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 Vosh Raiders! How are you? Welcome, everyone! Wait, hold on. I gotta get the hair out of the way. It's not just two of you. There's quite a lot of you. I can see the numbers going up. We are doing election coverage. This is a very strange stream. But welcome. Uh, I bought this mask as a gimmick, and now you're getting to enjoy the fruit of it. Isn't that cool? Wrong hat? No, this is the correct hat. Look. Look at how cute I am. Hi. Hello, everyone from Vosh Chat. Welcome. <laughs> Look at this. How cute is that? Welcome, Vosh Chatters. <sighs> come on over to the website come over to the website demonmama.com forward slash live we have cool emotes and everything very happy to see you all can you all hear me fine yay yay website chat is amazing yeah we gotta put that well I gotta do a better one maybe maybe I can go back here and do this wait hold on Wait, it's so hard. Dun, 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 dun. I can't. See? I, it's the fucking camera angle. See? I can't do it. We'll do it in the future, though. I'm the best. Yeah, I am the best cuddle team leader. Thank you. I need a Fortnite pickaxe. You want me to floss? I can floss. Look at this. See? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, hold on. I'm not doing it right. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm flossing. I'm flossing. Hey, look at that. Look at what I do. Look at what I do to entertain you all. The gimmicks, the fun. This is how I keep us from losing our mind in the pandemic coup, it, double impeachment bullshit future that we live in, okay? This is how we do it. So welcome to all of you who are here. And, uh... Like and subscribe, please, because I would love to have you here. And my streams are always very fun. I am going to take this off now. Let's do it. All right, content time. We got to listen to Bobert. Okay, so where are we at? Let me summarize for everyone who just came in. We are watching the unhinged rep representative Lauren Bobert, a.k.a. one of the Q heads who's in Congress. Um, you what? You will fall? Yeah, Bobert. Yeah, this is the one who carries her Glock into Congress. This is the lady. I was just talking about this. Um, this lady is uh, – now, there have been – I have read numerous reports from cr credible sources that the FBI is genuinely concerned that other Congress people might harm their fellow Congress people. And I'm just going to hazard a guess and guess that this, this bitch right here, Lauren Bobert – is probably one of the ones they're concerned about. Just gonna say, this is probably one of them. Yeah. 
Uh, real, real spree shooter energy right here, I'm just gonna say. After encouraging and normalizing violence, rather than actually helping American people in this time, we start impeachments that further divide our country. I call bull crap when I hear the Democrats demanding unity, sab Come on. Just fucking say the swear, you coward. I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. It's bull, it's bull crap. They are only unified in hate. Fired. <laughs> also owned. Do you know how many of these Republicans, Republicans can't even keep their fucking, wait, is that, is, that, is she wearing a QAnon badge? No, when I don't I think so. I just think it's something else. Unity. I don't think it's a Q thing. Sadly, they are only unified in hate. It's multiple, Fired. multiple Republicans have, have run over their time today like almost every single one has run out their time and gotten cut off halfway through it's fucking hilarious they can't keep time for shit i now yield one distinguished gentlelady from uh, california miss waters the gentlewoman from new york is recognized for one minute thank you very much madam is Speaker. this live I, I am live but this is not we are reviewing this this happened earlier today donald trump was impeached for a second time in support of impeaching again the worst president in the history of the united states since his first day in office, this president has spent four years abusing his power, lying, embracing authoritarianism, him, radicalizing his supporters against democracy. This corruption poisoned the minds of his supporters, inciting them to willingly join with white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and paramilitary extremists in a siege of the United States Capitol building, the very seat of American democracy. The, Repart the Republican Party is now the Trump Party. And I want true, you to know it is true. that this is a Trump power grab that will not stop. It will not stop with attacking the Capitol and our state legislatures. This president intends to exercise power long after he is out of office. It is reported that the president of the United States watched the invasion from the Oval Office of our Capitol and seemingly enjoyed it. I want you to know we should be concerned that the Republicans will not defend him and he is capable of starting a civil war. He must be impeached. He must be stopped now. Gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Ohio. That was good. That's not awesome. Thank you, That's Speaker, Eric Swalwell. One minute to the gentleman from Washington, Mr. Newhouse. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. That was good. No, that was good. Listen, respect. That was a good speech. It's fucking good one, all right? It's a good one. Good job, Maxine. Fuck yeah. A minute. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Madam Speaker, this is a sad day in our republic. But not as sad or disheartening as the violence. What is this haircut? YouTube chat wants better TTV emotes? Maybe. I'll look into it. Remind me later. In the Capitol last Wednesday. We are all. Look at this. What is this fucking poof at the back? This looks like some fucking Nosferatu shit. Looks like he's trying to get the Nosferatu thing going. You know the little poofies? Yeah, Beethoven shit, yeah. This is duck fucker? What does that mean? What's a duck fucker mean? Responsible. My colleagues are responsible for not condemning rioters this past year, like like those who barricaded the doors <laughs> nice of tech the okay, thank Police you. Department and attempted to murder the officers inside. Others, including myself, are responsible for not speaking out sooner. Before the president misinformed and inflamed a violent mob who tore down the American flag. And he's got a fucking real ass neck beard going on. Brutally beat Capitol Police officers. Madam Speaker, oh yeah, we look must at our cool new yep emote. We just got These a new yep emote. Isn't that cool? Flawed. Look at that. We got a custom demon mama yep emote. Look at that. Check that out. There is no excuse for President Trump's actions. The president took an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Yes, Last we week, did. There yep, was we a did. domestic threat at the door of the Capitol, and he did nothing to stop it. That is why, with a heavy heart. Charby Balloon. I am so torn between LOL ACAB POG and Holy Fuck Coo Bad. Wait a minute. You can dislike the cops, you can dislike the state. And you can all also recognize that a fascist coup is terrible. In fact, it's funny because if the fascists succeed, you get even more cops. No, you're not in trouble. 
I'm just, this, I just, I, I'm on a roll at this point. You're not in trouble. I'm not mad at you. I'm sorry. Sometimes I come off as very angry. It's just how I am. You're not in trouble. If the fascists win, you get more cops and they'll be worse. They'll be even worse cops. So here's the real way. Here's the secret. The real way to be a cab is to say, holy fuck, we have to stop that coup no matter what. Because if those fucking fascists take over, all we get is a world of cops. The only profession for men will be cop and soldier and fucking laborer for cops and soldiers. That's how you, that's how you, that's what you do. We have to. And you know what? If that means we got to put on our little, if that means we got to put on our lib masks for a few minutes. We got to put on our pink cuddle team uh, hat and we have to go, wow, Eugene Goodman, so brave. Then we got to do it. You got to do it. You got to put on a little, just a little bit, just, just for a little bit. Just put on that little lib mask for a few minutes and go, oh, pog, pog, this cop saved Saved us so brave, so brave. And then 10 seconds later, you go, whoosh. there you go. It's, it's, it's that easy. It's that easy. Yep. Yeah. It's that simple. And clear resolve. A lip mask? I will vote yeah. yes. On or a little article. You know what's even better? The lip mask? No, lib mask. The lib mask is, it's like a little, it's a little masquerade mask. It's that easy. And we just pop it off and go, hey. <laughs> Okay, this one is a real tweet. Wait, this is a Dylan Burns tweet. Wait, we can look at Dylan Burns tweets. Of course. If this is if this is mustard fucking, I'm going to scream, though. I'm not looking it up on the screen first, just in case. Ooh. Ooh. Trump's support among self-identified Republicans fell to 70% in the new Reuters Ipsos polling conducted in the wake of the Capitol riot, down from a peak of 88% in mid-August. That is the lowest level of his presidency. His approval rate rating just also sank to 34%. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn. What do we say? What did I say about this whole fucking bullshit? Do you remember, remember what I was talking about? How this was a massive failure and is actually going to split the Republican Party? Yep. Uh, don't ask coconut oil. It's it's literally, it's not worth it. Yes, I did see that in the Android. There was a guy who was wearing a mask that said, this mask is as useless as your governor. Yeah, me too. In fighting on the right is pog. It's pog champ. No. I don't know that I want to, Justib. I don't think I want to see that. I, I just don't. I don't think I want to. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think we're good. Impeachment. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman uh, from Madam, Ohio wishes to reserve. Madam, Madam Speaker, could I ask how much time each side has? Oh boy, here we go. The gentleman from Ohio has 36 and one quarter minute remaining. And the gentleman from New York has 36 and three quarter minutes remaining. We, we reserve. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 seconds to the gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Austin Clark. The gentleman from Massachusetts is, re is recognized yeah. for 30 seconds. That was me. Madam I said Chair. that. I said, oh boy, here we go. That was me. A mob desecrated our capital, <laughs> killed the police officer, and attempted to overthrow our government on the orders of the President of the United States. Immediate impeachment is our duty under a constitution that compels us to defend against enemies foreign. Wait, are there a whole bunch of people watching on VGG? Hey, I forgot. I forgot that when, when I get hosted on VGG, there's probably a lot of you hanging out in offline chat. If you're on all in offline chat, consider coming and hanging out on demonmama.com forward slash live. We have a chat looks just like the chat that you're used to. In fact, it was made by White Nervosa. So if you want to come hang out with us, we would love to have you. I don't know how many of you are watching right now, but come on in. We'd love to have you. Yeah, white names do get, yeah, white names here do get dicks, but you don't get Yoda Pet. So you'll have to pay for Yoda Pet, but that's it. Anyway, that's all. Hi, everyone. Well, back to the content. Back to the content. Yeah! Look at all that. Look at all these cute emotes on the side of the screen. Look at that. Amazing.
Yeah, you get dicks. Yep. It's a secret emote here. And domestic. Yeah, As a Marine it's pretty, officer, pretty I cool. Our democracy from foreign enemies. As a member Mars of Congress, Blue, you were gifted I am solemnly one. resolved to defend it from domestic ones. With this vote, we strike a blow for moral leadership. I yield back. He yields back. The gentleman wow. from New York wishes to reserve. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Well, uh, Madam Speaker, I you know, have two Dix minutes. Dix is his special emote. We have it as a secret Mr. here, as a reference. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized for two minutes. Madam Speaker, America is at a crossroads. As the violent riots at the cap Is this guy trying to clone Trump's hair? Is this like, is this like the backup? So here's my theory, okay? I've got a theory. This guy is the, uh, this guy was designated as the guy who has to grow a, an extra Trump hair. And if Trump's hair all falls out, they'll just scalp him and put it onto Donald Trump. Yeah, or it's Trump in it. Yeah, it's Trump in a in a different suit. This guy's the hair farm. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's the hair clone. The rest of him, not so much of a clone. Just this one. Capital last week so painfully and shockingly reminded us the unhinged partisan See rhetoric you, Have that a good too night. often Get some consumes rest. the political dialogue in this country you know, the hair has donor. become toxic and is tearing us apart. If we continue down this path, there's no telling how much damage to our union. There may be. Look, he's even got the same Sadly, little swoop. That's what's happening here today. The majority is rushing through yet a second impeachment of President Trump, who has but seven days remaining in office. Yeah. As prominent who constitutional law professor Jonathan Turley. Again, I've said this a hundred times today. Who fucking cares? This isn't about getting him out of office right now, although that would be nice. It, this is about making sure he can't take office again. That is the, uh, that that's actually important. I know. I know. I'm going to say it again because we've got a lot of new people here. Uh, it's dicks. You have it already. It's secret. Um, the One of the nice things, we have a few institutional things that are actually helpful. And one of those is that if you have a president that's so shitty, you can actually make it very hard for him to access legitimate power. And that's a good thing. That's one of the few benefits of institutionalized democracy. How institutionalized democracy a lot of problems but one of the nice ones is that if somebody's really bad you can stop him from getting back into power and that's really important and that's why this is important now i don't know if it's going to succeed but that's why we're doing this so this guy's stupid argument doesn't make any sense Washington, today a dangerous precedent is being set right right that and could lead to the normalization yeah. of snap impeachments without any hearings or any meaningful discussion or debate this is the, the debate right now, and you're wasting our time, you idiot. He is ramming through this house the most potent tool at our disposal without a single hearing, turning a process that usually takes months into a few short hours. We haven't heard a testimony from a Look single Look at all these witness. beautiful dicks. Look we at them all. We haven't heard from any experts on the nature of these charges, nor the damage this effort could inflict on our republic. We didn't even know how this debate would unfold until 9 o'clock this morning. This is truly an unprecedented situation and one which could cause irrevocable harm to our nation. Wow, look at all those dicks, Madam fam. Speaker, so much love. It doesn't have love to it. be this way. We don't have to continue down this misguided path. We could instead follow the wisdom provided by none other than Abraham Lincoln. Oh, my God. Every single Republican has made a reference to Abraham Lincoln. Every one. Has it been every one? I think it's been every single one. That's all they have. They've got nothing else. Just Abraham Lincoln. It, you know, their Abraham Lincoln spam is more than the dick spam in chat right now. Another divisive time in our nation's history and listen to the better angels of our nature. We could choose a more positive, constructive path. And yeah, then you should agree with the Democrats and get Trump out of office. If they're wrong, then you should agree that you are not the party of Trump and you should be willing to cut Trump loose in the name Peace. Damn, good combo. And vote down this ill-conceived effort. We should tone down the political rhetoric. We should work together to solve the problems that face our nation. We should put aside our differences and find common ground. And we should bring Americans right, exactly. back together. Of course, yeah, there's exactly. There's no crisis silent. we can't overcome if we stand united. And I yield back. Gentleman from Ohio yields back the gentleman yeah, from Yeah, good idea. Stand united and impeach the president, you coward. From Ohio wishes to reserve the gentleman from
We are pretty good at combos, I will say. Uh, d the Demon Mama chat is real, real good at combos. We've had some pretty good ones. New York is recognized. Speaker, I now yield uh, one minute to the distinguished gentlelady from Washington, Ms. Sarah Butler. The gentlewoman from um, Washington is recognized Fair. for one minute. Fair enough. My 25. Look at that. That was on the. That was. All, that was no help for me. Our enemy. Good and job. And to clarify, our enemy isn't the president. Good job, everyone. Or the president elect. You know. You want to know what our record is? Do you know what our record is? Our record is 56. 56. No. 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 Double. Triple. H. No seven H's. We beat, we got to 56. I know, 50 fucking six. We'll do it in a minute. We'll try and, we'll try and do a, we'll try and do a record breaker in a minute. No, that's the record for, that was um, Mama Mauled, I believe. That, I think that was a Mama Mauled. Yeah. Mama Mauled is great. Have you seen the Mama Mauled emote? Look at that. Look at that cute ass emote. Fear is our enemy. Fear tells us what we want to hear. It incites anger and violence and fire. Indeed. But it also haunts us into silence and inaction. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of what people will say or think. I'm afraid of being devalued. I'm not afraid of losing my job, but I am afraid that my country will fail. I'm afraid patriots of this country have died in vain. I'm afraid my children won't grow oh up in no. a free country. I'm afraid well, injustice will fail. If you permit. need to save data, don't worry, you can catch the VOD, gutter horror. Why, I don't know why she's talking. I'm afraid of thought. <laughs> Did she say that? Hold on. But I am afraid that my country will fail. I'm afraid patriots of this country have died in vain. I'm afraid my children won't grow up in a free country. I'm afraid injustice will prevail. Wait, did she actually vote to impeach? Yo. But truth. Truth sets us free from fear. Truth doesn't guarantee bad things won't happen. But it does promise to always prevail in the end. It has no shadows where darkness Let's find can out. hide. With truth comes love, and we could use that right now. My vote to impeach our sitting president is not a fear-based decision. I am not choosing a side. I'm choosing truth. It's the only way to defeat fear. Wow. One Republican with a spine. All right. Listen. Credit where credit is due. Tiny golf clap. Thank you for having a spine. Thank you for having a little bit of a spine. We'll give you credit where credit is due, okay? Hey, tiny golf clap. Yeah. Do the Nancy clap. There you go. It was like nine or ten. Yeah. Out of like two, almost out of what? Like a hundred? It's fucking ridiculous. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from New York wishes to reserve his time. The gentleman from Ohio. Baby is shark ass clap. Baby clap 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 clap. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Clap, I would yield one minute clap, to the gentleman. Clap, baby clap 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 clap. Baby clap 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 clap. Baby clap clap clap. The lady from Texas, Miss Van Dyne. The gentlewoman from Texas is yielded one minute. Thank you very much. Today, I should be in my district working for my constituents. Instead, I'm back here in Washington because the majority could not resist another made-for-TV impeachment. American workers are losing their jobs and struggling to feed their families. Good night, Humphead Sassy. Small have a good night. Are being forced Thanks to for hanging out today. And close Happy to have doors. you. Families are tragically losing loved ones to the coronavirus. Instead of creating or even saving American jobs or negotiating uh, it, I don't think this lady's a Q one. The other one is um, Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't know if she's Q. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, is the other, was the other super Q one. She's fucking nuts. Marjorie Taylor Greene is fucking unhinged as shit. Like fucking galaxy brain level shit covid relief we're debating an impeachment that's been preceded by no inquiry no meaningful debate and no due process in one week's time joe biden will be the president the american I can understand people need that, to rise Heyman. above the heat of the moment to focus on their needs and deliver real solutions because the majority the of the a senator as well whether though. or not to remove not a, a sitting president in just two hours good night ziggy I'll be brief. bye i post this article of impeachment and i yell back Hug. The lady yields back. Tonight, the Ziggy. gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentlelady from Georgia, Ms. Bredeau. The gentlewoman from Georgia is recognized for 30 seconds. Madam Speaker, I teach a civics class where I point out that our democracy is not self-executing. It requires people of good faith and ethics to make it work. The president has repeatedly challenged yeah, a lot of handshake Georgia's agreements election in there. results 
But despite three recounts and many investigations, the results are clear. Well, Joe you could Biden always start a new spam, Georgia. coconut oil. The Nothing idea wrong with that dicks. our election was fraudulent is a They're lie. Free as fuck. Our president used this lie to incite a violent mob Coming. to attack the Capitol. I ask my colleagues to act with ethics and good faith to reject these lies, and in this case, to support the article of impeachment. I yield back. Gentlewoman's time yeah, free expired. Dicks. The gentleman from New York wishes to reserve. I love the, the name copioid crisis. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would yield one minute to the gentleman from Florida, Jesus Mr. Posey. Christ. The gentleman from Florida has one minute. In our campaigns, we may be adversaries. But usually after the campaign season's over. I know this guy. Wait a minute, I know this fucker. We have traditionally come together for the good of our nation. Now, more than ever in our lifetimes, we are <laughs> Titusville. Vero Beach. Divided nation. This is One Bill the Posey. Yep. The resist movement, which has harassed, harangued, and otherwise denigrated the president since the second he became the nominee. The re Did he get the wrong notes? The resist movement? Did he get the wrong notes? I think he meant to say BLM or Antifa. The resist movement? What? Isn't that a hashtag? Oh my god. It's literally the welcome to the resistance. What the fuck? He got the wrong notes. While his sins may be different than yours. This guy looks like if they if they like if you like aged Krillin forward and stretched him vertically. Like if you just like, you know, dragged an image of Krillin. Yeah. Yours or mine, uh, they are clearly not treasonous. Let our men and women in blue, who suffered a lot more stress than the members of Congress they protected, he's have like the Krillin. Time they deserve to recuperate. What's that? What's that quote from Lord of the Rings? It's like butter stretched across too much bread. It's like Krillin, but older and spread across too much bread. <laughs> and do the same for millions of Americans. Krillin was a good boy, though. To be fair, feel they've been disenfranchised. I beseech my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, if you truly want our nation to heal, vote no in this resolution. It reeks of nothing more than revenge and sets a dangerous precedent. May God continue to bless the United States of America. The gentleman yields back. The oh, gentleman from dude, Ohio wishes oh. to reserve. The gentleman uh, wait, from Wait, do you think he was nervous there? And sets a dangerous precedent. Do you think he's nervous? May God continue Watch to bless his hands the United here. States of America. You think this guy's a little nervous? The gentleman yields back. Holy the gentleman shit. The dude was shaking all over the place. What the fuck? He's fucking nervous. That guy's nervous. Holy shit. The gentleman from Ohio wishes he to did stay on time. The gentleman it's true. from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Maryland, yeah, he might Mr. Be. Brown. The Thank gentleman you. from Maryland is recognized for 30 seconds. Thank you, Madam Speaker. A week ago, Americans in this chamber lived through one of our darkest days. The commander-in-chief incited a mob of insurrectionists to overturn the results of a free and fair election through terror and intimidation. They failed, but this violence took its toll. People died, our country's temple of democracy was vandalized, and our image as the world's leading democracy was shaken. President Trump represents a real threat to our national security, our democratic this institutions, guy sounds and the like people somebody. of this country. We cannot let Donald St Trump who actively wow, orchestrated sedition Holy lead shit, our good nation's job. government for another seven days. We cannot wait until January 20th. Donald Trump must be removed. Thank you, and I yield back the balance. The gentleman yields back. The Damn. Gentleman from Short and sweet. I love Star it. Continues to reserve the gentleman. No, he doesn't sound like Obama. He sounds like, um, he sounds like, I don't I can't place it. He sounds like, uh, fuck, I can't place who it is. There's somebody, there's somebody on YouTube who talks like that, who does this thing, that, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, emote spam is great. Dr. Light in Mega Man 8? No, I don't think so. There's a guy, there's somebody, he's like in an ad or something. I swear to God. I swear to God. From Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'll yield one minute to the gentleman from Texas. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I also want to thank my Democratic colleagues for finally joining Republicans and condemning mob violence after six months of refusing Poof. to acknowledge it. Poof. But I'm really tired he of sanctimonious sermons on being a sore loser from some of the Poof. same Democrats who opposed accepting results in elections past. Democrats have objected to certifying every Republican victory of the <laughs> Could 21st be, yeah, century. Could be, yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> in 2000, 2004, and in 2016, Democrats objected every time. When they objected, it was patriotic. 
But when Republicans do it, we're inciting a mob. We're liars and we're traitors. This is the double standard we should expect under total Democrat control. They've called for unrest in the streets. They've called for harassing cabinet officials. They've objected to certifying election results time and time. Yeah, and your motherfucker, your president, literally organized and led a coup against Congress. What the fuck are you talking about? What and an again, idiot. Even the judiciary chairman secured clemency for a domestic terrorist who detonated a bomb right here in this building. But we're the extremists? I don't think so. We've been silenced by big tech on social media, by corporate America, and now the other side wants to silence us on the House floor. This is a sad day in America. I urge my, I urge my colleagues to vote no. Time's expired. The gentleman from Ohio okay. wishes to. Oh, you like this voice from Enhanced? <laughs> this is the Rami voice. <laughs> Wait, is that an Elmo voice? Is that a Gurgi? I don't know. This is my own voice. I this I've invented this one. <laughs> Wait, you know what I can do? Wait, who here? Who here has played? Who here has played uh, Binding of Isaac? <laughs> Remember those enemies in Binding of Isaac that do that? They go, ooh -hoo, ooh -hoo. They make that exact noise, and I can do it, see? You know what I'm talking about. It's the little ones that cry, and then they run in the corner, and their heads blow up. That's what it was based off of. Yeah, I know. Scary, right? I can haunt you with it. Except the only thing I can't do is I can't replicate the weird, uh, the weird, uh, like, uh, distortion, because... Obviously, human voice can't really do that. I'm not like a fucking liar bird or whatever they're called. Yeah, the reverb. Reserve. Thank you, the gentleman sir. from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield uh, 30 it is seconds a little Elmo -ish, I guess. to a new member of the House and a new member of the Judiciary Committee, the distinguished gentlelady from Missouri, Ms. Bush. Hey, we got Cori Bush. This is what we've been waiting for. The gentlewoman from Missouri is recognized for 30 seconds. Madam Speaker. St. Louis and I rise in support of the article of impeachment against Donald J. Trump. If we fail to remove a white supremacist president who incited a white supremacist insurrection, oh! it's communities like Missouri's first district that suffer the most. The 117th Congress must understand that we have a mandate to legislate in defense of black lives. The first step in that process is to root out white supremacy, starting with impeaching the white supremacist in chief. Thank you, and I yield back. Oh, that was not only short and sweet, but incredible. Whew. That was some spice. You know what that was like? That was like fucking biting into good wasabi. You know how it just, it just like clears your whole fucking sinuses out? Woo, that was good. That was some, that was some pog ass shit. I love that. And from New York wishes to reserve the gentle one, the gentleman from Ohio seeks recognition. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I Were yield. Are there people heckling? This in chief. Let's Thank hear. you, and I yield back. I'm from New York. Wishes to reserve. Hey, the they're booing her. The gentleman from Ohio. But what a bunch of fucking assholes. Seeks recognition. Oh. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I yield. Uh, one minute to the gentleman from Texas, Dr. Jackson. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I rise in opposition to the articles of impeachment. Let me be clear. What happened last Wednesday was a stain on our nation, and the nose, criminals dude, and the rioters nose. responsible should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It is clear now more than ever that our dude, country fucking needs nose. to come together. And Congress, I hate this. this. Dude, these... Oh, my God. Okay, listen. Holy shit. Every, look, I understand that some people struggle with masks, but I'm not kidding you. Every single one of these Republican people, they have, like, these Republican, like, Texan white guys with, like, the flattest nose. They have, like, a blobfish nose, and they're, it just, their mask is always, their nose is always just, like, boing, boing. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah, it's probably because they never wear them. Yeah, but, but she fixed it before her nose came out. Yeah, they look like, that yeah, fucking Mr. Saturn.
this congress needs to lead by example and begin the process of healing the deep division that exists among us as americans the articles before us today will not accomplish that yes they will align with your democratic fucking pe fellow countrymen and fucking get the shit out of this office get the shit out of the white white house holy fuck in fact the sham articles of impeachment oh my will only God, serve dude. to further fan the flames of unrest and to appease the radical left dude, appetite for division he can't go one second without it falling off we should be focusing True, on restoring Jessica communities Metal. devastated by lockdowns working on america's vaccine rollout aiding a bipartisan investigation into Boink, these attacks here it comes. and ensuring election integrity not impeaching a president who has promised a peaceful Boing. transition there it goes. and who has less than seven days left in office. It is time to focus on the unprecedented Boing. challenges we face, and it's time to focus on unity. For these reasons, I urge my colleagues to oppose Boing. these articles of impeachment, there it and goes. I yield back my time. Thank the you. gentleman yields back his time. The gentleman from Ohio wishes yes. to reserve. The gentleman from New York is... Yes, they're, the, they're, the peaceful transition of power is gone. It wasn't peaceful. It wasn't recognized. Madam Speaker, and now you have 30 seconds to the distinguished gentlelady from New York, Ms. Clark. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized for 30 seconds. Madam Speaker, today I rise to support H.R.S. 24, the article Whoa. of impeachment against Donald Trump. Listen, just get Listen, I'm, I'm digging. I am digging this. Yeah, I'm digging this outfit. Now this. Whoo. Wow. The sparkling red mask, all red with these these asymmetrical pearls. Listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. This shit right here, this looks like those fucking the the red the 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 red uh, CCP. What's it called? Chinese CCC. What the fuck is the actual term? The Communist Party of China. The ones that that, that are asymmetrical and red. Doesn't it look like that? Listen, I'm not a Mao stan, but I'm just saying. Yeah, 5% of Congress actually knows how to dress. True. <laughs> Conspiracy? No, not red stormtroopers. This is opposite. Um, yeah, the kimono, Trump not the kimono thing. It's, it's just the asymmetrical military Let outfit. Let us be very clear. What took place on January 6, 2021 was an act of domestic terrorism. Not tankies. Tankies fear me. By right-wing, syncophantic, white supremacists promoted, instigated, and advanced by the man in the White House, Donald Trump. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, the ultimate weakness of violence is that it is a descending spiral. Oh, was that the, the guy? Was that the guy right there who coughed? Oh, you idiot. This is the guy. There it is. Oh, you motherfucker. Watch this shit. Watch. high crimes and misdemeanors for a second time. Let us be very clear. What took place on January 6, 2021, was an act of domestic he terrorism. He sneezes into his hand. Right oh, you idiot. Syncophantic white supremacists promoted, instigated, and advanced by the man in the White House, Donald Trump. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said the ultimate Okay, but it looks like... I, okay, listen. I'm going to be charitable, and I'm going to guess this guy gets up to go get hand sanitizer. Uh, he does stand up. I think it would make sense if he went to go get hand sanitizer. That was fucking stupid as shit. That was fucking dumb as shit. But at least let's hope he's going to get some hand sanitizer, for God's sake. ...of violence is that it is a descending spiral, begetting the very thing it's set to destroy. Instead of diminishing evil, it multiplies. I love this lady's expired. voice, by the way. The gentleman from New York wishes to reserve. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I will yield two minutes to the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Tiffany. The gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. What? What is this? Okay, I I can't believe I'm gonna I can't believe I'm having to spend so much time with the mask shit. But this is this is this will blow coronavirus out either side. This is going to blow coronavirus out both sides of your face. This is as bad as no mask. My father once said to me, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. In the short time I've served oh, in this body, I one thing is clear. This is not a serious place. Last year, we watched as the other side delayed COVID relief for months to inflict maximum pain and sway the outcome of the election. 
I don't know. Did the I do a weird accent? Said his mom. What did I do? Isn't that how it's supposed to be pr pronounced? What? Ohio Gozaimas? Did I not say it wrong? What? What do you want me to be like? Ohio Gozaimasu? Do you want me to say it like that? Is that better for you? Huh? Ohio Gozaimasu. There you go. Gotcha. Much. In yet these last two days, we have seen just how fast they can move when they want to exact political retribution on Chats their opponents. Chat's just fucking roasting me today. My friends on the other side now have complete control of both houses of Congress. And in a few days, they will control the entire executive branch as well. Ohio Gozaimasu. More like yee-haw Gozaimasu. Speaker, Joe Biden has talked about unity and healing. Is that what this is today? Is accusing re Republican lawmakers of sedition and calling for their expulsion the plan for healing? Is working with Silicon Valley to digitally disappear those with whom they disagree? Did he really just fucking say that? Did he really just fucking say that? Republican lawmakers of sedition and calling for their expulsion the plan for healing? Is working with Silicon Valley to digitally disappear those with whom they disagree with the plan for reconciliation? I was among the first to condemn the riots in Madison months ago, and I condemn what happened last week. But where were the swift accusations of incitement and insurrection from the other side last year? Is today's yeah. political theater? That's, that's kind of like what I'm talking about. Yes, that's the thing. That's one of the ones I'm talking about there. That's the one Somniostatic. Or Posadas John. Sorry, that was Posadas John. Posadas John, thank you. Is there a preview of what the American people can expect from single party rule? Two years of double standards Sorry, I meant and Posadis punishing John. those who voted for someone else? A Madam digital Speaker, gulag? I hope Mr. Biden is watching today and he will rise to the moment and call off this effort to rub salt in the wounds of millions of Americans. It is now time yeah, for all been of us, the Democrats been chaos and for the last week. alike, to turn down the temperature. Thank you. The gentleman yields back. Turn down the temperature after you lit it on fire. Oh my God. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman yes. from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Cleaver. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized for 30 seconds. Madam Speaker, it would be an error to suppose that men and women can be courageous every day. It would be unfair to anticipate that I or any member of this body could be a lion every day. No one is expected to be a lion day after day after day. But on this day, lions are required. Okay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's really feeling himself on there. <laughs> Lions. No one is expected to be a lion day after day after day. But on this day, lions are required. The gentleman yells back his time. The gentleman from. All right, okay. All right. Uh, Nya or something. <laughs> New York reserves the gentleman from Ohio is we recognized. We reserve. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield uh, 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Cohen. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized for 30 seconds. No, Thank you, very you don't much. need to leave at all, uh, Brian Dango. You're Trump welcome here. Not impeached. Susan Collins said he. Susan Collins said he's learned a pretty big lesson. He was impeached. Then he brought his It Will Be Wild riotous television show that he produced for one person, individual one. Intelligence reports indicate that the people he said he loves and are special are going to attack this city and attack this capital next week. He has not asked them not to do it. He has not told them to stand down. I most fear January 20, because I think he will try to go right. out with a bang and take attention expired. away from Joe Biden. The gentleman's time has expired, Ooh. and there will be order in the House. Wow. The, the gentleman from New York reserves. Wow. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. I didn't Madam expect Speaker, that. I didn't expect that. from the president. I urge that there must be no violence, no law breaking, no vandalism of any kind. This is not what I stand for. This is not what America stands for. I call on all Americans to help ease tensions and calm down. Just put out that statement by the president of the United States. 
I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Klein. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for two minutes. Yeah, Jim Jordan's a cuck. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the President for his words. Above the entrance to the House of Representatives uh -oh. is a sculpture called the Apotheosis of Democracy. It depicts allegorical peace dressed in armor and protecting the genius of America. Last week, that peace was tragically torn apart as our U.S. Capitol was invaded for the first time since the War of 1812. A violent mob, including many with yeah, the we most saw that earlier. intentions, not from, broke not from this tweet, barriers but yeah. and unleashed destruction yeah. and chaos throughout the Capitol. I, I, I did tell you, remember on the day that we were covering, remember on the day that we were covering the coup, I told you all that that fucking live stream shit was going to be like the FBI's favorite shit. And it has been. And rip them. When it was over, six individuals were dead, including two Capitol Police officers. I've always supported rip the rights them. of citizens to rip peaceably and assemble. But those who breached the Capitol and assaulted and killed Capitol Police I ain't going to cry over some fascist getting busted for law. fucking trying to if overthrow the government. If their intent was to stop the constitutional requirement of this body to count electoral votes, they should be charged and prosecuted for insurrection against the government. But we are a nation of laws, not of men, and the legal standard for incitement to violence has not been met. Now, Dude, a week since the riots calm threatened the, the people's fuck house, down. and a week until a new president takes office, we are rushing through an impeachment without all of the Did facts I bump it into two X speed? Process. We don't know yeah, what kind of information God, yeah. the offenders have, what evidence will come out during their trials, whether it bolsters the majority's claims or the minority's views, or whether it implicates other individuals, groups, or other officials in the attack on this hallowed institution. We just don't know. And that's why we must treat the yes, power of impeachment do. and our responsibility we do as holders know. of this power with the seriousness and solemnity it deserves. <laughs> Let us gather the evidence. Let us hear beep, the judiciary. Beep. Make an informed decision together. Jesus. This action will only fu fu further fuel the political divide among our citizens and will be detrimental to the long-term effects to unify our country. Amazing. I reiterate my call from last night. Let us work together. Both President Trump and President-elect Biden have called for a peaceful long transition and boring, of power. Unlimited I cringe. humbly beseech my colleagues boring. to work for this end to unify our country and not go down this dangerous path. I yield back. <laughs> the gentleman yields back. Thanks, this time the gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Langevin. The gentleman from Rhode Island is recognized for 30 seconds. Madam Speaker, January 6th was a horrific day for our country, for our democracy. The Capitol was breached, the blood of a defender spilled, all because of a lie that the elections were stolen, that, that, a lie that has infected well, this nation that's as why I'm here. As I add pandemic. the wild shit. President Trump is the source of that lie. He has perverted and betrayed his oath to defend hey, the Haley, Constitution, good to see you. attacking the foundation of our democracy by inciting his supporters to violence. He is not fit to serve, and is a danger to our country while he does. I, too, pledge to support and defend the, the Constitution against expired. all enemies, foreign and domestic. I will uphold that office. I will expired. vote to impeach President Trump. I urge my colleagues to do the same. The gentleman from New York wishes to reserve. That the guy didn't give a fucking o shit. He called the bluff and kept talking. Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield one minute to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. What did the Speaker know? And what did other legislative leaders know, and when did they know it? Maybe that's a, a, a rush to impeach the president, because so we'll never know what legislative Knows. leaders here knew. The again, FBI. again, it's all of the Republicans. His fucking nostrils are popping out. Knew about a number of individuals that were planning a war on the Capitol, including killing police officers, and they shared the information, but nothing happened. Boing. The chief federal prosecutor in Washington stated, he is pursuing conspiracy charges. The fact that IEDs were constructed in place informs me that yeah, was, that there was pre, pre planning there boing, for portions there goes. of the tragic boing events right last again. week. How does the president incite an attack that was pre planned and already <laughs> hey, underway before his speech concluded? Now, I know my colleagues on the left want America to believe that the president incited a spontaneous riot. He literally told them to go to the Capitol. He literally did that. Fucking Charlie Kirk openly admitted on Twitter to sending 80 buses full of people to to the fucking Capitol to cause shit. That they'd like to call an insurrection, but the facts are stubborn things if and if you choose to ignore them. The truth is the multiple lawless and violent events last summer, including months long siege of a federal courthouse, burning, looting, physical violence. Yes, really, Justib. Yes. 
That actually happened. He deleted the tweet, but it doesn't matter. It's been archived. Yep, Charlie Kirk literally admitted to that. Violence in so-called sanctuary cities were closely fits expired. the definition of Boing. The gentleman's time has expired. The, said last week, the gentleman's the time has expired. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Connolly. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for I 30 seconds. I thank my friend. The American people are asking, is there any depravity too low? If no, that's the answer. The answer is no. Is there any outrage too far? Is there any blood and violence too much to turn hearts and minds in this body? Instead of the usual justification, rationalization, and enabling and false equivalence we have to hear. This is a moment of truth, my friends. Are you on the side of chaos and the mob or on the side of constitutional democracy and our freedom? <laughs> what this guy sounds like? He committed one of the great blunders, the first of which is never start a land war in Asia. <laughs> he literally sounds like, uh, what's his face? From, uh, um, from the Princess Bride. Doesn't he? Yeah, Wallace Shawn. He does. Inconceivable. It's that simple. That it's that simple. Repeat. It's the inconceivable. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from New York Reserve. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Madam, Madam Speaker, could I inquire how much time each side has? Yes, you may. The gentleman from Ohio has 25 minutes remaining. 21. The gentleman has 25, 25 minutes remaining. 25, thank you. The yeah, Vizzini, Vizzini, yeah, I always forget his name. 31 and one quarter remaining. The gentleman from Ohio. We, we would reserve. The gentleman from Ohio wishes to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield four. 30 seconds to the four gentleman impeachment. from Colorado, Mr. Crow. Never go the in against a Sicilian when death is, is on the line. <laughs> Madam Speaker, last week I stood in that gallery to defend this chamber against a violent mob called here by Donald Trump. I have dedicated my life to the defense of our nation, and Donald Trump is a risk to all that I love. Some of my Republican colleagues are afraid of the consequences of an impeachment vote, but this Congress sends our young weird. Men, and, men and women to war every day. I'm not asking you to storm the beaches of Normandy, yeah, but no only problem. show a fraction later, of the courage we Thanks ask for of coming our by. troops every day. Rest well. Leadership is hard. It's time to Good. impeach. The gentleman's True. time has expired. The gentleman from New York continues Aww, to reserve. thank you, Sathers. The gentleman from Ohio. Listen, I'm, we reserve. Listen I'm not above physical comedy, okay? I love me some physical comedy, all right? Ohio reserves. The gentleman from New York. Madam Speaker, I yield 30 seconds to the distinguished gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Davis. The gentleman thank from Illinois is recognized for 30 seconds. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I heard a few minutes ago that there had been no hearings. Well, I have heard from the people of the 7th District of Illinois. They have told me what to do. They have said, impeach this president. Impeach this president and do it now. I will follow their instructions and vote yes to impeach this president. This guy's and got a, a fucking bomb-ass cane. Back. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Yeah, we continue to reserve. The gentleman from Ohio continues to reserve. The gentleman from New York is recognized. Madam Speaker, I now yield uh, 30 seconds to the distinguished gentlelady from Texas, Ms. Escobar. Well, the nothing changes there, Texas Lone Cat. The is recognized for 30 seconds. Thank you, Madam Speaker. On January 6th, terrorists attacked the United States of America. It was an attempted coup and an insurrection, but what I hope Americans understand is, is that it was a terrorist attack against our country. Those who came and participated must be found and prosecuted. Genuine question. Do you think if Republicans voted in favor of this impeachment that it could open the door to more alt-riders being elected in the future since so many Republicans are Trumpers now? Um, maybe, but I think what's more likely to happen is that they would become targets of the fucking Trump mob. Yeah. I, I think I think that's more likely what would be the case. The Republicans who voted for, in favor of the impeachment are likely going to receive an incredible amount of um, uh, of, of of blowback from this. I mean, they 
Do we all not do we all not remember what happened when when fucking Mike Pence called in the National Guard and they immediately started chanting to to hang him, right? Like you think they're not going to turn on their own reps? Yeah, we're in a bad again, what did I say about that fucking fashy populism? Once you get the ball rolling, not good. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. Think there's going to be a Trumpers versus Tradcon GOP? Well, that's what we have right now. But the thing is, they will lose forever if they don't resolve it. So someone will have to win or else the party will face extinction. So, who knows? Literally, keep in mind, the Republican Party is smaller than the Democrats. They rely on suppressed turnout. They rely on apathy. And they rely on cheating. Those are the things that they have to do to win. If there's a split in their party, they can't afford it. They cannot afford a, a, a split in their party. If there's a split in the Republican Party, they just lose forever. It's so hard, there's no shot. So they know, all of them know, that they have to resolve this one way or another. But nobody wants to resolve it because that means one half is going to get bonked real hard. Do you understand? That's the position the Republican Party is in right now. They are at each other's throats. And they are going to be. And that's why the left needs to act now. We need to move. We need to do shit. And the Democrats should be as well if they're not stupid. And I guess they're trying, but they are kind of stupid. So, Yeah, it's – well, it's not based. It's like – I mean – it's terrible that we have a party in the United States that's half fascist, but we have to recognize that a schism in their party is good for everyone else. Everyone else in the country who isn't a fascist, who isn't a fucking racist, should be celebrating and looking to exploit this shit as hard as we can. We need to make sure that in their, in their mass confusion, in their attempt to try and jockey for power, we need to push to make sure they can never take power again. So, unfortunately, it is split. It's not just sp split or crash. It's figure it out or crash. They they need to they need to fall in line as soon as possible, or else they will lose entirely, forever. They'll be done. Like there's no there's no splitting in the on the on the um on the uh. Democrat side of things, there are enough people for there to be multiple factions among the Democrats. Now, first past the post means that it doesn't necessarily matter, but there's room in the Democrats because there's enough Democrats that there can be different factions. That is not the case. Um, that is not the case with the Republicans. They have to fall in line or they lose. That's how it goes. That's how they've structured things. That's how it's always been for Republicans. They have to fall in line with whoever they pick, whether it's Trump or Mitt Romney or Mitch McConnell. It doesn't matter. They got to fall in line and follow that orders because they only have enough numbers to make it happen that way. And that is a scary part because I have a bad feeling that the fasci side of the party is going to win. And the reason why I think the fasci side of the party is going to win is, well, because of stuff like the 6th. Because they're willing to actually go and fuck people up really bad. And that's scary. And that scares people like Mitch McConnell and scares other of the corporate types. So it's a little worrisome. Nonetheless, there is a schism and we should be exploiting that to the best of our ability. Those who aided and abetted must be found and prosecuted. And the man who incited it, President Donald J. Trump, our Bye, greatest Morel, national Lago. security threat, must be impeached, held accountable, and never be allowed to hold office again. I yield back. Gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from New York reserves. The gentleman from Ohio. Yeah, Madam Speaker, we reserve. Reserves. The Question: How do we exploit the? How do we exploit the schism? Okay, so there's a couple ways you can ex exploit the schism, right? One way to exploit the schism is to use this opportunity to get further left candidates into office that otherwise wouldn't be able to run. You understand? So here's, here's, the, here's how I describe it. Okay, when there's a schism on the right, that means they don't have enough votes to win, which means you can run and vote for more left candidates because their, their side is split. 
That's one way to do it. Another thing that you could do is you can pressure, you can pressure, uh, if you live in an area, for example, with right wing or Republican representatives, you can pressure them to go on the side of the Democrats and hopefully make them reconsider going hog wild with the Trump cult. Because as it turns out, there's a lot of Republicans and a lot of them are real, real shitty, but not all of them are shitty enough to be fat, to be Nazis, to be open Nazis. Oh, thank you, Haley. Really appreciate that. Good night, Jaunty Horror. You're welcome. So there's another way you can do it. Another thing that you can do is this is the this is the prime time. This is the prime time to push the Democrats in any way possible because they don't have a coherent opposition. So we need to push. This is the few opportunities where you can push Democrats, and there's many ways to apply pressure to Democrats. Everything from literally writing them to protesting to, you know, online campaigns to pressure them to the left because they don't have opposition from the right right now. And that means, what that means is that Democrats, corporate Dems, are going to look mighty right all of a sudden if we have people who come from the left, and that's a threat to them. They don't like fighting the left. They like fighting the right because they can go, look, but those guys are fascists. Well, they can't do that right now, can they? Because the Republican Party isn't coherent. Now, that might change, but for now, we can push. And that means you can push the reps that are in power. Also, if there are elections, if people step down, if there are openings, if there are special elections, push really hard. For, for good progressive candidates in those areas. The reason being is that the right will be at a disadvantage right now, significant disadvantage. And keep in mind, their organizing efforts are out the window right now. All they're thinking about is fucking Trump right now. So you can go out and you can organize all kinds of shit. You wanna do fucking union stuff? You wanna do fucking uh, mutual aid shit, this is the time. You're going to get significantly less fucking attention and heat from right-wingers because they're all thinking about how to fucking storm the Capitol. And also, yes, uh, pushing right now, pushing to get rid of the Electoral College is a really good idea. And the reason for that is that they are out of power right now. The right wing is out of power. If there's any time that we could push for uh, electoral reform that could permanently change the way that the uh, that society goes, that that, that uh, democracy um, unfolds in America, um, this is the time, because the Dems know that electoral college, first past the post, hurts them. You can make sure we can try to make sure that they never do it. We all need to be like Destiny and knock on doors. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, please. Listen. Oh, my God. Please. Listen. Let me remind you. While it is cool that Destiny canvassed, canvassing is literally a high school summer job. It's a high school summer job. Okay? Canvassing is, the le is like the weakest. Oh, my God. There's so many ways to be politically involved. Canvassing is good. If that's what you can do, do it. But there's a lot of other ways right now that you can be involved that are way more helpful. <laughs> you all like it when I get annoyed by chat. You were a canvasser for nearly three years? Hell yeah. It's hellish. It's hard work, yeah. But keep in mind, the, the Democratic Party hires thousands and thousands of people to canvas. If you are interested in political change... I thought canvassing was supposed to be the best way to reach people. Okay, hold on. Let me explain something about canvassing. <laughs> Destiny, that's a woman's name. Amazing. Beta. Um, but yeah, okay, listen. Canvassing is the best way to reach people to vote. That's not the best way to reach people in general. Um, in fact, there's a lot of other ways to reach people. Canvassing is very good for yeah people who have houses yes that is true too canvassing is very good for going and finding and motivating people to go make a vote but can't there are so many other things that you can do besides canvassing yeah there's it's so there's so many other things to do besides canvassing one such thing fucking 
again, I've talked about this a million times, grocery deliveries. If you have a mutual aid group, a leftist mutual aid group that will deliver groceries, those people will never forget that. They will never forget that the anarchist mutual aid union saved their family by giving them food. Do you know how that can change somebody's life? If you feed someone, if you show someone with your actions, not with your fancy words, that you care about their material conditions, you realize that will change them. Then won't lefts be the only ones involved? What? No. No. Do you know? Do you know? Like, okay, just so you know, in my area, what do you do if you don't have money? Well, Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. So depending on your area, if you live in a major city, um, if you live in a major city, mutual aid groups will be big enough and have enough funds that you will not have to pay for anything. All you'll need to do is deliver the groceries and shop. In my area, you sign up with the group. They send you money via PayPal, and then you buy the groceries, and then you deliver them, and you just check in online at each step, and that's it. Done. Okay. Oh, cool. I'll eat, I'll eat as soon as I'm done. Feed your communities, give back to them. Disenchanted, lonely people need to reconnect. Yes, build connections with people. Um, yeah, it can, but if that's ever going to happen, it's going to happen now. This is the opportunity. And there are other ways to amend the vote that doesn't require a constitutional amendment, just so you know. There are ways around this. Um, the interstate compact is one of them. Yes, that is true. Isolation is preyed upon by right-wing groups. If you're wanting to become politically involved, if you want to be more based, listen, I'm going to tell you something here. Listen, I know these are fighting words, but if you want to be more based than destiny, if you want to be the basedest person, you want to you want you want to feel really fucking cool about yourself, you can outdo destiny today. Don't fuck, don't worry about can If you want to canvas, go canvas. If you're good at that, go canvas. But if you want to be even cooler, look, take some time and, and whether it's on Facebook or Google, figure out what groups, what lefty groups are doing material aid in your, in your area and work with them. Maybe give them some money. Maybe help them with some tasks that they need. Maybe deliver flyers for them. You will be more satisfied than even if you canvas. Yes, it is. You can be gigabased. Do you know? Do you know how many groups operate to deliver food all across the United States? And you'll make friends. Yes, you will. You will make friends. Can you be? Can can I can be megabyte? You can be megabased. You can be megabased. Yeah, it's super cool. Okay, let me tell you a little story. Ready? I'm gonna tell you a little story about some megabased people. At the beginning of this pandemic. Do you want to know who came by my neighborhood? This is really cool. Ready? Listen close. I heard through the grapevine of my local mutual aid group on Facebook that there were going to be um, aid trucks coming around the neighborhoods to give out free stuff. And you know what happened? A, a fucking beat up ass truck with some friends sitting in the back of it with some soda pops had a big bunch of bags of care packages that had masks, hand sanitizer, food, stuff like that in little bags. And they had, uh, they had a, a Bernie, a Bernie for president, uh, picket sign like this one back here. And then they had a whole bunch of fucking anarchist stickers all over their truck. And they drove through with a, um, with a megaphone and they were like, Care packages, free care packages, free COVID care packages, free COVID care packages, come get them. And people came out of their house and walked over and these people in trucks, no question asked, hand you a care package. Stay safe. And there you go. Bam. It was awesome. It's not a van with candy. It's a truck full of teenagers. And you know what they did? You know what happened? Here's really something cool. People came out on their porches and were given fucking solidarity fists and they were giving them right back. No joke. I'm not kidding you. It's cool as fuck. Just a dude in a truck giving out fucking masks and hand sanitizer. And guess what else was in there? You want to know what else was in there? Information 
about our socialist candidate, information about the tenants union, information about voting for Bernie Sanders, a little packet in all of those little bags. We can think bigger than this fucking shit. I always tell you people, I always tell you people, listen, electoralism is the boringest form of politics. We can go so much bigger than this, so much fucking smarter. And I know you all have these brains. Candy vans, okay, let's avoid the creepy vans. Consider maybe a, a Prius or something, okay? I will. Don't you worry, Sathers. I'm going to say this until the day I fucking die. How can we convince conservatives to care about other people? Don't bother. You're not going to convince conservatives. But there's a whole lot of people in America who are neither Democrats or conservatives. These are people who are just trying to stay alive. And if you reach them first and you help them stay alive, even in just a little way, they will not forget that. So yeah, you can't pull over all of rural America. Uh, it's unfortunate to tell you this. I'm very sorry, but the fact of the matter is there are big swaths of America that will never change. They have deep hate in their hearts, okay? It is very hard to win someone over from a cult. You understand that? I'm sorry. It's just very difficult. Now, it is possible, but I always tell people this. Um, I always tell people this, but unless you personally know someone, it's very hard to get them out of a reactionary cult. And I know this from having grown up in one. It's really hard. And yes, while there are areas of rural America that is not as conservative as it seems, there are, there are a lot of people who live in rural areas who are just very invested in the Trump cult. And it's hard to get out of it. Yes, I did grow up in a cult. Um, yep, I have a video about this. It's called uh, The Cult We Grew Up In with Gay Fesh. Um, check it out. It's on my YouTube video. It's really fucking good. We talk about it. We watch a sermon from the cult that I grew up in. Really wild. Isn't it like all misfits leave at ASAP? Yeah, that happens all the time. Uh, I mean, I'm one of those people. I grew up in rural, very, very rural America, and I li I moved to a city because it's intolerable. You can't. It's very hard for different people to live in rural areas. Danny Fallen. Just as a small reminder, canvassing is only effective when the message is personalized and directly affects the person you're canvassing for. If you come with a generic message or one of controversy, you're actually more likely to sway them to a non-voter position. Yeah, it sucks. There are imp imperfections, but yeah. Jesus, do not try in many places. They are fucking crazy. You have to be careful. Yeah, but remember, you're not going to hurt anyone and you're not going to hurt yourself if you come bearing aid in a time of need. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That is you don't even you don't even have to preach any sort of political message. You can just give them the aid. You can just give them the aid. That's the cool thing. What? Is this real? Is this real? Is this fucking real? <laughs> Trump thought he could convince Pence to overthrow the election by calling him a pussy. <laughs> what? What is this headline? <laughs> Something that's been pretty well established over the last four years is that Donald Trump is not a smart man. Sure, he likes to claim otherwise. My two greatest assets are mental stability and being, like, really smart is a thing he once said. According to a report from the New York Times, in the days leading up to last Wednesday, Trump spent a series of meetings relentlessly pressuring Mike Pence to overturn the results of the election, alternatively cajoling and browbeating him. Just before Pence headed to the Capitol to certify Joe Biden's victory, the president called the VP's residence in a last-ditch effort to get him to stop. You can either go, oh my God, according to two people briefed on it, Trump told Pence, you can either go down in history as a patriot or you can go down in history as a pussy. Are you for real? Holy fucking shit. 
Oh my god, is this real? Are we living in real times? Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is Vanity Fair. This is fucking Vanity Fair. This is Vanity Fair. Oh my fucking god.